And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. Lyle, it's me. Yeah. I'm back from the other side. <laughs> who, who is this voice? I've, who is this man? I've returned. I've returned from my, my journey. I went on a, what did they call them when knights would go out? Uh, not an escapade. <laughs> a, uh, uh, a crusade. A crusade, yes. I was on a crusade. Or, uh, I was going to say more like you went on like a spirit journey. <laughs> yes, I did. I went, on a, I went on a crusade, which turned into a spirit journey. Um, I, yeah, like I, 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 I happened to like be walking through the desert when I should yeah. be, uh, oh, frozen tundra deserts. And, uh, yeah. and yes, and like Sean says, I was on a quest. And um, I found, I got a quest, and then the person was like, well, here, here's your reward. It's this uh, interesting uh, mushroom. <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. And then it turned wow. into like, if you remember, Be- do you remember no, Beavis no, and yeah, Butthead did like, do America? Mushroom. Like, it does nothing now, but could interact with an item later. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> it was like, it's like an adventure. It's like a point and click adventure game where I ate it, and now I, it's a fail state. And now I'm yeah. just like in this like, we everything's flipped and doesn't make sense and i can't win the game and now i'm just like <laughs> sitting there freaking out sweating and dying yes i survived it i survived i've i saw um and speaking of that we were talking earlier i'm not gonna go into long story guys because yeah i got the so basically long story short because we're gonna get into some dice thrown today Woo! Yeah, but you, you need to let the people know <laughs> what's well, been going on well yeah so i was on the road for work and i got the flu which was awful um, probably mixed with some other things as well. Uh, and I sat in a hotel room and died for about three, four days of that trip. Um, I made it home and I'm still recovering. Uh, the, the, th- the, the lungs are still messed up, but, um, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. And yeah, in that room, I was, like you said, I was on a spirit journey. Uh, dude. And I, like, I was just about to say, like, I, we didn't talk about it, but dude, I swear that like, I was having those fever, like hallucination things. Like, yeah. I wasn't, like, seeing stuff. Like, when you hear hallucination, like, oh, I saw animals running around the room or something like that. No, it was more like, you know when you when you go to bed and you're, like, um, super paranoid or have tons of anxiety or something about something? Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. you start thinking about it and thinking about it, but you, you're probably half asleep. And you start yeah. just, like, going down a rabbit hole on things. Like, I was doing that in my fevers. <sighs> like, about work oh, stuff. The and then about, like, but it would be weird. It would start with, like, work technical stuff, like, wiring. And for some reason, I would just be, like, trying to just because I couldn't do anything. I was like, I was, my brain was wandering, but then it would turn into like the non relevant, like it would be like working with people and like how those people think about those wires and what that has to do with. Like, wow, like, dude. Oh, the you way went, our mind, like, All yeah, right. dude. So I didn't even think about it, but I was probably going through like minor hallucination stuff because of like a little delirium. And, you probably had a little delirium. Dude. Oh yeah, dude. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't eating. I was like sweating. I was uh, dehydrated. Like, I was on Tamiflu. They say one of the side effects of Tamiflu is that, like, uh, you can have hallucinations and stuff. So I was probably, yeah. I was probably in that state. And plus, I was like, Whoa. basically, oh. yeah, in in quarantine by myself forever. It was awful. But yeah, thanks. Yo, Bill. what up, Bill? But Thank it's good to see everybody. Stuff. It's good to see Lyle. It's good to be back um, to play some games. I did come back last week, but now I'm finally back this week. So it's been, dude. I've been gone for like three weeks. You've been gone for a while. <laughs> You've been you've you've been gone for We're, a long time. What it's happened? Like, yeah, <laughs> what no, happened? it's been it's been weird, man. It's been weird yeah. for you to be gone this long. I'm just like, just sitting here, <laughs> just by myself, being like, well, this doesn't this doesn't feel the same. Yeah. Games <laughs> happened. I mean, I mean, like I tried to pop in here and there to make sure everything was going on, like what was happening, and like I was. Glad oh yeah, when you, when you when you, you should have been resting. Well, I was you, resting, you, but you I was were like, popping in here, uh, play, playing some Crucible." <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's when I was back. That's when I was back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was sitting in here, and because I was just like nothing I could do, I was like, "Well, I'll just sit yeah. here on the Crucible and try to play some stuff." But that wasn't until I got home. Man, I wish I had the strength and everything when I was there to just sit on the Crucible all day and grind out my decks. So that would have been awesome, but I didn't. Oh, dude, that's too much. Um, thinking. Yeah, you were slaying that's the Spire. Too much when there was when some... you're sick, dude. <laughs> no, no, there was like Key Forge you you had going on. So uh, Lyle held it down, guys. Lyle held it down very well. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we're back to play some new games though, because we're back to play some dice throne. Like we said, woo! Yeah, woo, woo, woo. um, but other games happened. I mean, Mar- like all kinds of stuff was going on. There's the new announcement of mass mutation for key forge happened. Yep. Um, there's, uh, Marvel United is like kicking off with cool mini or not like in a couple days, I think. Yep. Um, people have been playing all kinds of games. I guess lots of people have been playing t- like ticket to ride online. It sounds like everybody's been trying to do that. They're like, yeah, oh, I was like, I was like, I'm not, I was like, where, where is this suddenly popping yeah. up from again? All this TTR. Well, I guess, talk. I guess Japan or something got added the, to the digital 
Oh, is that versions. what it is? Okay. I think I saw someone say that or something like that. So people have been playing and I guess other like, hey, as, as OCS1 said, three quarters of the other streamers he watches, assume tabletop streamers are playing it with their community and we should jump on the bandwagon. I was like, we launched that bandwagon. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we launched that bandwagon. <laughs> we launched that, yeah, bandwagon. that bandwagon was gone. And then we were like, oh, hey, should we uh, string up this uh, this wagon yeah. to, to our cart? Yeah, I don't it know. sounds like they jumped on the wagon and we jumped off because wagon was too full. That's how yeah. it is. Oh, we that's were, right. Yeah, we were, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we were going around the road. We saw an abandoned wagon, and we were like, we'll hitch up this wagon. Yeah. We'll recognize. put it on the road for a little bit. You know, get it get it back on its feet. Welcome to the best camp on Switch, the Kobold Cultist. The Kobold Cultist. Nice. Welcome. Yeah. Um, yeah and, then we, so, and then we were like, yo, this, this wagon's a little dead weighty. I think we need to lose it. We lost it, and then now everybody's <laughs> on it. <laughs> Ticket to ride. Dead game. Ticket to ride. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. More Ticket to ride will come, guys. We'll play with you guys because you guys like playing it. I just, I like I said, Discord. I just kept winning. It was too easy. So it's just not fun. It's just not fun when I have to beat you guys and you guys hate losing to me. I just, you know, I told you I didn't want to play the game. And then we start playing the game because you guys hit the donation goals. And Asmodee even gave away, we gave away copies of the game because you guys wanted yep. to play it so much. We did it. I beat you. And then you're all like, oh, Chris is too good. I'm pretty sure that's how it went. I'm not saying that, that that's not exactly how it went, but yeah. it's pretty much like that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I was I was I was actually talking to to Casey about it last night because Casey was like, I don't know. She's like, I don't know why Chris doesn't like Ticket to Ride so much. Um, and I was like, I was like, a lot of it has to do with the people that he played it with in the past. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, it's not. not I was like, chat. I was like, I was like it, it, it's it's a lot more enjoyable for you playing with the camp. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, it's a lot easier because you guys are the easiest camp in the world to beat. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Damn, damn. <laughs> oh, and Eric's saying it's free right now. That's right. Someone posted that up. That Ticket to Ride and Carcassonne are free on the Epic Store at the moment. Oh, okay, so people have been busting it out and stuff like that. Well, nah, we'll get back to it. If everyone picked it up, go grab it. Go grab it. Um, we'll, we'll play it some more. But yeah, dude, I have to say, what reason um, we're busting out some dice thrown today It's because I've been trying to get more games up, more games into the hopper for 2020 as we move forward. Um, things are going to get busy, as you can see, in 2020. We've been gone three weeks. Um, it'll be we're doing a lot more. We want to get more stuff up that we can get on easier and stuff like that. That's just not Key Forge, Zombicide, and stuff like that. Like we want to have more stuff up. Um, show you guys more stuff. And this game actually came out a long time ago. Very popular. We saw it at Pax Unplugged how many times? Um, yeah. And didn't get our hands on it. And actually, a year ago, almost uh, or just over a year ago now, Trasharama recommended we play this game. And he said, "Here's a great game. It's a great filler game um, that it's easy to learn. Um, that it's a lot of fun. Battle dice." Uh, and we can, we can throw it together, get in and, uh, get excited about it. Now, uh, we haven't played it yet. Lila and I have never yep. played this game. We've seen it. You've had friends that play it in Nashville, right? Um, I thought they played this game. They were actually playing Dice Forge. Oh, okay. Dice different, game. different game. Different game. Different game. Different game. Different game. Dice. Different game. Um, so... So this game we saw at PAX Unplugged, and we and we and we saw people playing it. We saw people getting excited about it. Um, it was kickstarted. There was all kinds of releases with it. I mean, it's gone through so many iterations um, that there's a season one, and now there's a season two. And now, if you try to go buy this game, I was trying to just look up prices. You can't even buy season one. Yeah, I think you have to pre-order it, and it yeah. comes in this nice, like, huge yeah. box thing. Yeah. yeah. Now, which like looks pretty sweet. Yeah, the chest, the battle chest. I think. Yeah, the battle chest. It. That's what it's called. Yeah. Um, it looks sick. Great components. I mean, it's really well put together. Rodney over at watch it played part of the board game geek people he does a great how to play video of this game yeah. um which i think is almost all you really need to watch to get going on this game and it takes yeah, like i think it's all you minutes. need to watch i mean we both watched yeah. it I, I skimmed through the rule book and he does a really great job of pretty much explaining everything that's in there yeah so so you don't really actually need to read the rule book you can just watch that video i did both um just watch the video <laughs> yeah um but yeah the battle chest guys thing is is really cool because the 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 package design is wonderful like it's this huge box and then each character is actually in its own little separate box which yep. makes setup and breakdown so easy when Organize. you're choosing your characters what to play. You can just grab from the yeah. box, throw it back in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't let this box. I mean, I think when we saw the box of packs unplugged, the season two box we're talking about, this giant black yeah. box um, yeah. that has it's their probably as big as it. Imperial spells and steam. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. And so you're like, whoa, I don't want to. But it's not. It's literally just for storage, and it looks awesome. And it's actually yeah. really. It, it like I was blown away about how simple this is going to be to jump in. Like I said, we haven't played it yet. We're going to learn today with you guys um, by utilizing what's known as their official tabletop sim mod we do a lot of stuff with tabletop sim here's yep. a shot of the official tabletop sim mod that they produced i don't know they, they i don't know if they hired someone i know if yep. you go look I'll, I'll throw the link um i'll put i'll be sure to include the link in the youtube video and i'll throw the link in chat right now if you're hanging out on twitch with us um yep. if you have tabletop sim you can go get this right now it's free 
Uh, they put it out. Again, uh, it says it's created by Nate JC, and his little icon is Dice Throne. So I don't know if he's with Roxley or hired by them. But there's four developers on this. Um, mm-hmm. They put it together. It's a scripted mod. It yeah, includes... Official scripted mod. Yeah, it includes... I mean, I'll zoom in real fast real here. Uh, boom, it includes four characters from season one. And then it includes... It, they According to the description in the mod, when you look at the tabletop sim mod, there's four from season one and one from season two. But the one we can't really find information on, is, it's Ninja, right? Yeah. And the thing's like, we didn't, we didn't really do a deep dive on characters or anything like that. But yeah. we were sort of like looking at... Uh, different different lists and stuff like that and like the ninja just wasn't part of season one or something like that yeah Yeah, i'm not really sure but because we have limited information guys like we said we haven't really played this game uh we can't answer too much other than if you've played this game a lot come check out this mod uh it's available right now we're gonna do we're gonna be playing an edited version of this for air yeah um that we've thrown together but everything's included in here including the rule book advertisements for these battle boxes which they're now selling on amazon you can get now if you like the game um, that they even have it. Woo! They even have an advertisement yeah. for. Whoop! That's the rule book. I meant to go to the other side of the box. Oh, here we go! Oh my wow. god! Dude, what? Wow! Yeah, everyone's got everyone's sick like I was for last week. Now, um, yeah. You know this Dice Throne Adventures, which I believe is their new the new thing they're going to be promoting. You can pre-order it. It's going to be a solo adventure season one. They're re-rolling it. I be, I, I just saw yeah, the Cobalt Cultist. What Cobalt Cultist is, is mentioning in the chat. Yeah. Aren't they doing another release of season one? Yeah, they're calling it re-rolled or something maybe. Yeah. Um, and this Dice Throne Adventures maybe part of that. So that might be a good time to get in on the game. But um, yeah, we're going to be utilizing this uh, official tabletop sim mod that they put out rather than yeah. um, you know, just a thing. So check it out. Check it out as we learn it. That's a great way for you to get on it because. The reason I started talking about this is because I was like, wow, this game's really cool. I Maybe I would like to own this. Let me check out the pro. Ah! For season yeah. one box, it's like 150 bucks on third-party sellers if you just want to get it right away, Ugh. right now. 150 yeah. bucks because it's so rare. And then season two, to get that battle chest, like you said, I think you have to pre-order it from Roxley, basically. Yeah. Um, otherwise, you can go to Amazon and you can buy, and I'll jump back over here real fast. Um, you can buy, they look like this. They're like these battle boxes that I believe Rodney even talks about. They're... yeah. They're these and, you can, and they basically boxes. just have two characters in them. So if you just want to like get up and running with 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 you know just like two characters to see if you like the game, yeah, or not, and you not have to these. invest in like the huge thing with like eight characters in it, because the battle box I think has has eight or ten characters or something like that. Yeah. If yeah. you just want to get in and see what it's about, you can buy this. It's sort of like the way Funko's doing their stuff these days, oh, yeah, right? True. Where it's just like yeah. where you can Breaking where you can up. get like a really like a mini pack with a mini map or something like that yeah. and with Funko style, or you can get the huge thing. Um, so I think it's cool that you can do it this way. Yeah. And Drew's clarifying that Dice Throne Adventures is going to turn it into a co-op dungeon crawler with random loot and upgrades. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I mean, that's yeah. pretty neat. Yeah, what up, Drew? Thank you. Uh, I just want to I just want to say uh, this past week, I'm going on a different tangent right now, but uh, because Drew and Bill are in chat, I just want to say <laughs> this weekend uh, was an amazing Pokemon Go weekend. <laughs> Uh, because uh, Pokemon from yeah, the Sinnoh region were, were popping everywhere. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were getting double seven-kilometer eggs from each other from gifts. And I got to say, everybody's been giving me really good gifts. Uh, Drew's been giving me good gifts. <laughs> I think Drew gave me a couple Riolus. I know Aurel oh. gave me a couple Riolus. I got a perfect Gibble oh, from nice. uh, from Inked Gaming Tim in <laughs> Chicago. That was really it's great. Good. Just Yeah. So, so that's going until 10 p.m. local time tonight. <laughs> Get, get your eggs dude incubate <laughs> i've been trying man i wanted it uh, because i got sick i was hoping to i was throwing you guys some des moines gifts um from out in the iowa yeah area, dude yeah you give me double eggs <laughs> i was trying man i was trying i couldn't get out though i was so bummed because i was like yeah. so excited yeah. i did get some new dudes out there though i did pick up some new stuff i hadn't seen around here so i was excited about that and got some yeah. uh, iowa eggs but yeah it was rough um bill is clarifying that he said one of the guys at his local game store said there's a few characters in dice throne uh that are not balanced against others maybe we'll keep an eye out for that but that uh cobalt hey, saying every game unique you know? um they said that they did do some balancing for season one reroll so they're clear they're clear they oh, i nice. guess they okay. recognize that i guess they recognize that we may run into some interactions um that <laughs> someone just destroys someone else i yeah. mean i can see that with these kind of games these battle games um you know i hope when they put the, the little extra boxes together that they balance those two characters together so it's not just yeah. like an overwhelming defeat forcing you to buy another box just so you can compete um yeah. you know but hey that's part of this game right um but I- i'm looking forward to diving into this uh we're, we're yeah gonna ask I'm, I'm excited for our very first playthrough so guys like when when we when we say we haven't played this game like we're, we're not sort of we're not lying there yeah. it's like we, we both literally watched a watch a played video 
we got the we got the mod. We read about the game. We've heard it's so, great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so thank you so much, Mr. Draco. In, 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 yo, what up, Mr. Draco? Thank you for the resub. Um, in typical Quick Camp style, get ready for amazing plays right off the bat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna need your guys' help to clarify some stuff. I mean, like we said, the rule set's pretty easy to follow, um, and we're gonna be learning this mod and showing you what it's about, so you can get into. Um, let's spin the wheel here uh, before we get into the game. I know I probably owe a lot of stuff from being gone. Uh, probably not going to catch so, up on it today. So you don't owe as much stuff as you as you think. So oh. you owe you owe 40 burpees from like way back when. Oh nice. Right. Sweet. Yeah. Not And sweet, you owe but... and you owe two dad jokes. And that's it. Oh, two dad jokes? Two dad jokes. Dude, dude. okay, so let's spin the wheel here. Let's spin the wheel for these. We, we got a lot subs, of um, let's wheel some spins too because people are redeeming them with their Twitch crits too. <laughs> I so see so uh so we we had to spin a wheel for Bill. We'd spill miss uh we had to spin a wheel for Mr. Draco twice, and then we spin a wheel for uh Drew. Uh he said uh already spin Thursday for the resub though. Okay. Oh uh, so wait, wait, who once. who got the resub? Oh, Mr. Draco. Draco. Okay, right, so, so let's spin it here. Let's spin it for Bill, man. I owe a thousand burpees. And Bill just oh, and, and redeemed so the wheel. Gets another one too. Come on, come, come on, come on. Okay, there, there you go. <laughs> I was like, I'm hitting the button. Like, is it not gonna go? But yeah, I'm glad. I'm, and I'm, another get, another big thanks out to Trasharama. If you guys don't know Trash, he's been doing stuff with Board Game Geek. He's the one who recommended this, and uh, I'm looking forward to yeah. it. Okay, so you're up. You're up to 45. That's wow, cool. Right That's off the bill bat. spin one. Yeah. All right. So we've right, got. Uh, go, we're gonna go to Mr. Draco. <laughs> Thank you, Bill, for that. Yeah. I'm gonna, I gotta get crit fit. Yeah, guys. Uh, I told Lyle before because of the sickness, I lost like. I went from 189 when I went to the doctor in Des Moines. I came home at 157 the day I got home. Guys, he lost over 20 pounds. I lost a ton of weight. Oh, perfect. perfect. Yeah, there's, there's, some, really there's some coins for everyone. There's some coins for everyone. All right. That was Mr. Draco. Thank you so much. Mr. Draco Drew. Drew. More crits Eight for the one. people. All right. So, whoa, oh, I don't have my ready. Oh, I got to warm up. But yeah, guys. Right, so in terms of getting these burpees done, <laughs> I'm going to try. Yeah. I'm going to try. Yeah. But first, we're going to get into Dice Throne before I start trying to kill myself on air. I don't want to die, but yeah. Oh, is that burpees? I think that's burpees, dude. I'm sorry. No, oh, come on. Is that really burpees? It's not on the line, dude. I think it's. Ah, oh, it's ten burpees. Sad. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sorry to say. Sadness. Sadness. And then we have one more spin because Bill redeemed with his Twitch crits. Wow, you guys are crushing it with the Twitch crits. All right, yeah. take advantage of it, guys. Thanks for using those Twitch crits. Those Twitch crits. The quit. The crits. Mr. Mr. Draco was trying to be uh, nice to you, then Bill was like, "Nah." <laughs> <laughs> oh, makes it rain. <laughs> nice. More crits for the people. More real crits. Using Twitch crits to turn them into crit crits for the people. Hey, hold on, Draco. Just spun on the wheel again. I thought there was supposed to be a cooldown on Where'd this. Where'd you guys get all these crits? No, the, the spin the wheels of the Twitch crits, man. Twitch crits yeah. going to hit it again. I, I think the economy's busted, dude. <laughs> dude yeah, I think we got to fix this economy, man. You economy guys are insane. <laughs> we got to figure out some stuff to do about the uh, the Twitch crits. We got to do some more stuff in 2020. Yeah. We got to mix yeah. it up. We got to change it up. Oh, bean. Okay, I will eat that, and then we're going to learn some dice throw. Then we're going to yeah. learn some dice throw. Yeah, and then you have you have two dad jokes to, 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 uh, to shoot off whenever you want. Whenever you want. All right. This will be good. This will be good for the health. This will be good for the recovery right here. Yeah. This is um, what is this one? Uh, this this is currently Mr. Draco, I believe. Uh, oh, Peter right. Barf. Mr. Mr. Draco was holding onto the switch crits till you came back. <laughs> oh, thanks, dude. Thanks. <laughs> so now you got yourself Peter Barf. Tasted enough of this over the last few weeks. Come on, be Peach. Was it Peach? Oh, it's really you hard. Have, it's really buds anymore. <laughs> um, it's Peach. It's Peach. It doesn't taste great, but it's Peach. Yep. Yeah, peach. It's peach. Oh, a bunch of those. It's not the good peach. It's like a bad peach. It's like a bad peach. <laughs> but it's not. Yep. It's not. Yeah. It's not barf. So yay! Yeah. That's a win. Um, awesome. Thanks for all that support, guys. Appreciate you guys hanging in there with us. Um, while we do this thing, you guys ready for some dice throwing? What? Let's go. Let's, let's jump in. Okay. So the way we're gonna do this is, um, I'm gonna fire up some tabletop audio battle ambience as we learn the game here. Um, uh, like I said, we're using the tabletop sim mod. So we're gonna jump over here to the tabletop sim mod. Whoop. Here's the official mod. When you download it and open it up um, from the Steam Workshop, this is what you're gonna see. Where's this music? Where's this music? Where's our battle music? Oh, it's starting yeah. up. It'll come in here. Um, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see this awesome official mod. Like I said, it's got the rule book Whoop. over there. You've got rule book. You've got advertisements everywhere, and then you've got enough play here for one, two, three, four, five, six people. Um, because in Dice Throne, you can't just. It's not just a one-on-one -on -one game, or a two-on-two -two game, or a three-on-three -three game. It can be free for all. It can be three on three. It can be two on two. It can be one on two, <laughs> which is technically just three players. A one, a one, two, a one, a one, a one two, two, four. Yeah. A one, two, five, six. 
Right. <laughs> and I mean, the game is technically for 2v2 or free-for-all. So because it's free-for-all and we live in a digital world, if you're familiar with Tabletop Simulator, I guess you could technically copy and paste these scripted mods and you could have like a 10 player dice throne game. Whoa! Whoa! But like we said, break the game. When you when you when you come into this official mod to choose your hero, you're going to have one of six. You're going to can choose six. So you're going to have people doubling up if you try to get too crazy, right? If you try to go over six people, because this yeah. is all that's included in the official mod. Yeah, yeah this, this is all you get right now for the, for the At the moment. Yeah. So I just wanted to show you guys what you're going to see before we jump over to our little edited version and we start learning the game um, a little bit on the fly here. Uh, so I'm going to jump over. So I've kind of gone through, as you guys know, when we use Tabletop Sim, we usually make an edit for air. And here it is. So we've got our game set up for two people. Boom. Two that easy. Two people. You can do this too. Um, and feel free to ask questions on how to do it. Happy to try to help you guys with Tabletop yeah. Sim and all that stuff. I thought it was 1v1. We're going to be playing it 1v1, but you can play it with more people than that. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah. And so these these characters, we look really quickly before stream just to, just to get a, a good sense of these guys. We didn't look at their abilities or anything like that or their, or their player boards or their, their stuff. But it's just they're each board and each character has their own sort of complexity rating as well. And and so it looks like the, the ones that are that we should be playing with that are more easy to learn with are the Barbarian, the Gunslinger, the Moon uh, Elf, and the Pyromancer. Yeah. It seems like the Shadow Thief is a little bit more complex, and then we couldn't find a complexity number for the Ninja, so we're not going to play with the Ninja right away. So somewhere between Barbarian, Moon Elf, Pyromancer, and Gunslinger, that's who we're probably going to play right now. Uh, yeah. I'll let Chris pick first, and then I'll just choose one from uh, that he yeah. doesn't choose. Yeah, so uh, we're going to kind of just teach and learn this as we go along. Um, we're yeah. not going to get too deep in things as we interact with yeah. things. We're going to kind of explain them a little bit. But and yeah. if we do, if you have, wrong, if you have questions, don't. we'll try to answer them uh, in chat. And hopefully, it looks like Kobold and, and other people have played this game could probably answer better. Yeah. Uh, so, if you're new to the game, best camp on Twitch. Uh, yep. So okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start off, dude. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with the Gunslinger because it's easy mode choice. But you said this is actually a uh, two a rated two choice. Barbarian's the easiest. Barbarian's rated one. Gunslinger and Moon Elf, I believe, are rated two okay and then pyromancer is rated three and then shadow thief is rated five okay so, so. let's see the magic scripting here i'm gonna go with gunslinger <laughs> all right well so, I'll, wow i will probably i'm gonna go with moon elf then so that we're at the same level you're gonna go with moon elf? complexity okay lyle's gonna nice. go with moon elf i'm just gonna set up my camera here to make this whoa it threw my camera for a loop when you did that but that's fine that's fine. I'm just going to do some tabletop sim stuff real fast so we can see a thing. So Lyle's going with the moon elf, and then we'll describe what you guys are even looking at here if you've never played this game. Yeah. Um, Hold on. I need, to, I need to set up some cameras here. Okay. Yep. We're doing our camera setups so that set you guys that. aren't. I'm going to set up Chris's. Boom. So that you guys aren't vomiting. Boom. I already messed up my cameras. Sweet. <laughs> And then we got our two player. There you go. All right, so so two, so guys, now here's here's basically a setup for a two player game. What? Yeah. So when you when you open up a box, when you open up one of these battle boxes, I'll just start by saying what you're gonna get in there per characters. You're gonna get, for instance, I'm playing the gunslinger. You're gonna get a character board that looks like this. It unfolds. Um, I'll be playing the gunslinger, and on this board, you're gonna see the different attacks I can pull off by rolling dice like in Yahtzee, from. Uh, one of a or three of a kind, four of a kind, five of a kind of different types of dice to yep. straights to combinations of dice, and they'll have different effects like damage or proccing different effects on other characters or myself, stuff yep. like that. Um, I will clarify, and Rodney does a good job of saying this too, is that in the bottom left and right of the character cards, and I believe this goes for almost every character, um, yep. you're on the left, you're gonna have a purple passive ability, which is something that's always happening throughout the game. And on the right, you're going to have your shield in the green, yeah, which is like your defensive ability, yep. which is like your defensive ability when someone yep. attacks you. Yep. Um, Everyone's going to have, I think, one of these. Some some characters some uh, will have two, I think, in the future or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that's pretty much it. And then in the middle uh, is an attack as well. Uh, in the very middle down there, it says fill them with lead, for instance. It's called, that's yeah, like, that's your ultimate it's ability. My ultimate. It's what I charge up and yep. then I hit my ultimate key. Like in every every video game nowadays, but yeah, that's like the ultimate. It's basically like getting a Yahtzee. Um, you get yep. five. Every every character is gonna have five dice, um, yep. and if you get all sixes, all crits, you can pull off your ultimate ability down there. Which if it happens, or we can pull it off using cards and the like, sweet. But I don't know if that's gonna happen that much. <laughs> yeah. Um, otherwise, like I said, each character will have five dice. Uh, it's broken up 
you can see here this is a character card you'll also get on the side on the reverse side usually tells you i think some lore about the character and breaks down what yep. some of the skills and abilities do um for each character uh for instance with gunslinger um my five dice are on the right there one to six each dice is numbered one through six your um, six dice yep yeah my six dice for instance i have three bullets uh two dashes oh, no you have five, i'm sorry it's five dice six sides yeah sorry. yeah 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 <laughs> um and then each one has a crit so yep. there you go is there a two ability yes it's a bullet <laughs> yeah. as you can see here it's a bullet um yeah. each dice is six sides and all that good what up sultan yeah. it's good to see you so yeah so so just a step back like really really quick you know if you if you guys want the lore of what this what this game is uh yeah. so basically there's this mad king right who is like the ultimate champion and is undefeated in like in sort of competition battle and so every every year or every season or something like that he's bringing out like you know, he's challenging a bunch of people to come and like take his throne, right? If they can beat him. And so, so we're a bunch of characters that are like sort of competing against each other to, to take the dice throne. Oh. Um, and, and so, uh, since it's a battle, um, no. there's uh, a health counter here, um, at the top of the, uh, the thing. It's, and we all start with 50 health. We can, we can actually heal up to 60 max. You can always go 10 above your, what you start with, but that's like, that's the cap. Um, but as soon as you get down to zero, that's how that's how you win, right? You want to you want to kill your opponent. But yeah. if you both lose in a draw and you both have zero, um, it's just a draw because you can't get any deader than your opponent is what the <laughs> rules say. Yeah. Um, and so, like Chris was uh, mentioning about the uh, the board, those are the abilities that you can do. Um, the so the ones that aren't passive or defensive or your ultimate are your just regular attack stuff that get procced by the dice you roll. Um, so you can manipulate these dice, um, through cards in your hands, which you can pay for with combat power, uh, which you can sort of, we'll, we'll get into that when we start playing. But, yeah. but though that's basically what it is. Like you have these passive abilities, you have these status tokens on the left that will come into play when you can play them. Um, and then it's rolling to do offensive stuff. It's rolling to do defense. Um, and there, and cards in your hands are not limited to, cards um uh so this game is, is not just limited to stuff that you can play on your turn there are cards in your deck that can be played like instance in magic that can be played on your opponent's turn um so there is dice manipulation that way there are cards that are limited to your turn there are, you know there are all these different stuff so once we get our hands and you can see chris's hand um you'll be able to see all these different ways you can manipulate your dice um and sort of manipulate your uh, opponent's dice too so the name of the game is you know, to roll dice, attack your opponent, um, you know, play cards until your opponent's health is down to zero. Yeah. Um, one other thing that Lyle did mention, there's things called combat points, which you need to use during your turn to play cards uh, and yep. do certain things. And that'll come yep. into play, as you see. We'll be selling cards for combat points um, and doing stuff like that. So there's different things that proc for different characters. Um, and here's Lyle's board, just as you can see. I mean, like we said, we haven't played this yet. Uh, we have yet to... Uh, see what each of these characters can do. So it's going to be a little bit of a slow go. We're not going to be doing any like next level play. Uh, yeah, we're yeah. probably going to have to read over um, some of these things. It's going to be a lot of reading, guys. So yeah. apologies. So you're here to learn with us. And here's Lyle's character card here. And Rodney even recommends that when you open up a new character that you read through this. Because as you can see, I mean, Lyle might want to do strategic moves based on like, oh, should he, he, should he prioritize this evasive uh, thing? Oh, right, right, right. Should he... Uh, is blind and negative you know you can kind of look through this um and yeah. you should probably look through it briefly uh while we're yeah, setting I'm gonna look through it briefly um just and also sure. just a, a really quick uh, note on on these status effects is you'll see that some of them are negative some of them are positive when they're negative that means you place them on your opponent uh when they're positive that means you place them on yourself yeah so it's um, a quick thing to get at so so if i wanted to put blind or entangle that goes on chris right uh, but evasive goes on me right um right. so let's see yeah, I mean, because, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, let me read these really quick. Yeah, Lyle's going to read through those. Um, as Lyle reads through those, uh, basically the way the game will start uh, is we'll be going through this turn order card here, which I kind of pulled up briefly. Um, there's somewhat of like, there's there's an upkeep phase where we're going to go through and anything that procs during the upkeep phase, that happens. In my case, I have a passive ability. I saw Lyle's does not have a passive ability. Things will happen there. Okay. Um, you apply Apple Pets. There's an income phase. There's a main phase where we'll be playing cards. There's an offensive roll phase where we'll be attacking each other. There's a defensive role phase where the person being attacked can defend, and there's another main phase for selling cards, prepping, whatever, and then a discard phase if your hand is over six. And that's basically a team. You know what I mean? 
This game yeah, looks yeah, really yeah. good. Chills well on stream. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how well, Bill. Because, you know, if it looks good, that's awesome. Because we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Just be yeah. sure you shuffle your deck. Totally. Just be sure you shuffle your deck. But at the beginning of the game, how do we determine who goes first, Lyle? Well, we'll roll a die. We got to roll a die, dude. It's dice thrown, dude. It's dice thrown. So I'm going to roll this die. You can roll that die. Woo. And let's, uh. Oh, oh, what? I got a, I get a crit and you flip my dice, dude. How did you get a crit? What was that? What? Dude, no, I didn't flip yours. You, dude, I had a six. I had a six and then you went. Okay, then re-roll. Re you were like re -roll. this. Re-roll. <laughs> no, maybe I, yeah. Wow. Right off the bat, I come back and allow cheats right off the bat. All right. What are yeah. you talking about? All right. Roll this dice. Ah, oh, Lyle wins. All right, all right. Cheats, dude. Wow. Okay, and because I win, uh, Chris went over the turn order stuff. The first player does not get an income phase. Right. So it's like it's like keyforge. Like you don't you don't get to. <laughs> Basically, I can dude, only play. In the income yeah. phase, he would gain one combat point. You start with two. He would gain one combat point and draw a card, but he does not get to do yeah. that in the in, in this first phase. Yeah. Right. So dude. so uh, Bill's right. As I'm reading through the Moon Elf, the Moon Elf is some baby shenanigans, I think. Oh, great. Um, so what are you going to do with this thing, dude? So right now you're okay, in your main so, phase. So you draw four cards. Wait, so you're saying I Whoa. don't I don't have a passive. You're right. You don't have a passive ability on your card. No. You wow. you have, like, well, straight up attacks. Um, you, had, you have a defensive uh, ability, but that's it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, all of the rest of it is offensive. Okay. Now, let's make sure you don't, so, you, you don't have anything on this card, right, that happens in your upkeep. Uh, when players affected this, I see offensive no, roll, no, I don't, phase, I don't. dodge and attack. No, no. I think this, this is all stuff I have to do, and, you... and and it either affects your offensive roll phase or oh. affects my damage. Yeah, okay. Oh, weird. Okay, so so yeah. you also draw four cards. If you haven't drawn four cards, oh draw... yeah, yeah, I draw four. Yeah. You start oh, with a hand of four. Let me shuffle these up. This is just one verse one. This game, Sultanus, but you can do one verse one, two verse two, three verse three, uh, one verse five. You can do up to six players with this mod. Yeah. Um, and so when you start, you start with 50 health. You start with two combat points already. Yep. Here's the um, combat dial. You start with four Ooh. cards in your hand. Uh, in the turn order, I don't have anything to upkeep, so I'm going to skip that phase. Uh, I'm first player, so I don't get an income phase. And so now I'm in my first main phase, guys, which means I can uh, play uh, cards from my hand. Uh, I can play ability upgrades, or I could sell cards to gain CP, which means if you discard a card from your hand, you get a CP for just discarding. Yeah, and certain so, cards, um, because we can't see your hand, certain cards, guys, cost CP to play. Yes. And you shuffled this, right? Yeah, I did shuffle that. And I'm looking through the cards in my hand before I decide okay, well, I what I want to do. Yeah, the art's really cool. The art looks really nice. And like we said, the components from what we've seen online and people playing this game, the components look real great. The dice are all... I mean, these dice look real stale, but they're actually, like, really nicely done. Um, okay. Swizzly, beautiful dice in real life. Ooh, that's interesting. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So Lyle's deciding what cards he wants to play. Do stuff here. All right. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to sell a card, so I'm going to discard it to gain a CP... I'm going to discard. Um, what do I want? To what you going to discard? This is actually really good, but I'm going to discard it. I'm going to discard this card called What Status Effects. So it usually costs two CP. When the cards are this, when it, when the cards are blue and they have this little M symbol underneath the CP cost, that means that you play it on your main phase. Yeah. Uh, part of your turn. And it's remove all status effects tokens from a chosen player. We don't have status effects on right now, so I'm gonna throw it away. You get a buck. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up to three CP, and then I'm going to um, use all three CP uh, to play an upgrade on Exploding Arrow. Oh, level up! And I'm going straight to Exploding Arrow tier three. So you don't have to go to tier two to tier three. Um, so and that cost me three. So I don't know if this is a good move, but dang, dude! I feel like, yeah, all right. I feel like playing playing upgrades might be good early. I feel like I'm gonna get um, rolled here. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and then so that's that. Now, um, I'm done with my main phase because I I'm out of combat points, and I'm gonna go into my offensive roll phase, which means I start to you roll, roll dice. this, and you get two re rolls. Right. Yep. Yeah, so it's Yahtzee rolls where you roll once. You take a look at what's going on. I got three footies 
and two things. So two I can birds. already do covered shot or over bows here on the left. or something. Bows? I think they're bows. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, bows, bows and footies, or arrows. Yeah, it's called arrows on my. On yeah. My so sheet. you got enough for covered shot. Yeah, covered shot, which I can gain an evasive token, and then deal seven defendable damage to you. Um, which means that you can roll your defensive thing. So guys, when you when when damage is in black, um, that means it's defendable, which means Chris can roll his defensive ability against it. When it's red, it's undefendable. Um, so and now I have to bad. figure out whether I want to do something else with this or just take that. Push it. It is a pretty good roll. Oh, do I get my four cards as well, right? Don't I get to yeah, we both start? Cards, yeah. All right, I got to go draw yeah, my yeah, four yeah, cards, yeah, guys. What am I doing that, that's here? Your, that's I was like, what if I need to defend match. myself? I was yeah. like, I can't even defend myself. All right, I got to look through what I have here, guys. You know what? I'm going to stop. I'm going to, I'm going to choose not to re-roll. And I'm going to stop here. Um, and I'm going to hit you with covered shot. And so I declare that I'm going to use my dice for an ability. And I let Chris know this because now he has an opportunity to do something. So you're going to use covered shot. So you're going to hit me for uh, yes. seven and gain evasive. Yeah. All right, so... So instance, you can play at any point, right? On your yes. turn or my turn at any point. Yes, they're the cards that have um, exclamation points on them. Like this one. Red exclamation points. Um, okay, I'm going to go back to my board. Uh, so I have currently two combat points because the game just started. <laughs> uh, yeah. So to play this, though, I have to pay the combat point cost to, to do like an, a card. I see yeah, at the top, have I'd have play, to pay that to, combat, to do this. Yeah. Um, dude, bruh. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to I'm going to play I'm going to pay 2 bucks to pay okay. play triple up which allows me to draw 3 cards immediately. Okay. Shoot I got all the cards, dude. All the cards. So now I have no CP. Yep. <laughs> so I'm not going to be able to do anything with these. I was going to say unless... but there are cards that cost nothing. So Oh, there are? Yeah. Good in this no. game, I think, right? right? Yeah. These cards are so small. I will say though in the in the mod guys, sorry if things are small. Everything is very small, so I'm trying to blow it up <laughs> so you guys can see it better. Um, okay. All right, so you're coming at me, bro. Okay, so uh, I'm going to, and this is where I need I need help from the um, from the camp here because I would like to do an attack modifier, but should I have declared when when am I supposed to declare that I can do the attack modifier? Now that I know that the attack's actually going to go off, do I have to declare it now? What's an attack modifier? A card? So uh, yeah, it's a card in, in your hand in which you can play to. It'll tell yeah, you what phase you can do it. Enhance in. enhance your attack. It says on the left when you can do it. On the left. On the left of the card, underneath the phase, it says when you can do it. Oh, I can do it during the offensive roll phase. Yes, okay. which you're in right now. So yes. Or the or the yeah, got it. So if you're going to do phases. it, you have Offensive to do it. Offensive roll phase, targeting roll phase, or defensive roll phase. I can do them anytime. Yeah, you have to do it, and then I, the defensive roll phase is after you're done modifying. So if you're going to do it, you're going to do it now. You don't do it after the defensive roll phase. You're in the offensive roll phase right now. So you you do that, apply any modifier. It says play roll phase action card. So if you want to do it, do it, and then it'll go to my defensive roll phase. Oh, so I can actually have you d roll your defensive first. No. No, I'm saying yeah. you have to you have to modify now. Because you're well, in look, the look offensive at step number phase. six, defensive role phase, play role phase action cards. Like, oh, you could do it then, yeah, yeah. So, so I can have you try to defend this thing, and then depending on how yeah, you you're defend, still in a role I phase, right, right, right. I see what you're saying. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's the case, then yeah, that's what I'm. I'm gonna. So since cover shot's actually going off, I get a I get a evasive token, right? Uh -huh. uh, and then I deal seven defendable damage to you. So. Okay. I'm dealing 17. Okay, and you're not adding anything to it. So now you're coming not to me. Yet. So I get yeah. to go to my... So now we're moving on to the defensive roll phase. Yep. So during the defensive roll phase, I can use this ability called Duel. You yep. and your attacker each roll a dice. If your roll is greater, you may choose to either deal three damage or prevent half the damage rounded up. Yeah, or. it's So, so you choose one or the other, yeah. Uh, so if your roll is not back. greater, deal one damage. Oh, so either way, I'm hurting you for hurting so, you. So yeah, you get a consolation prize. So you're always going to at least deal one damage to me. Okay, so I have to roll this dice. So I'm rolling this and dice. I have to roll this dice, yep. Okay, go roll this dice. Six crit. Right, six crit. Perfect. So we tie. Really? Um, well, if my roll so, is great. Oh, you rolled a six as well? I didn't see what yeah. you rolled. 
Oh, you rolled a six. Okay. Yeah. So your roll is not greater, so you can't do either of those things, but you still deal one damage to me. Weird. Okay. So I deal one damage to you, dude. Plow. Whoops. So I take Whoop. I take a gunshot at you. So I have forty nine. Yeah. So you're forty nine. Okay. But I also but I deal seven damage to you. So I I block nothing. You block nothing. Yeah. Ah! He just bow shot me, dude. <laughs> Wait, actually, I'm going to do an attack modifier on that as well. I'm going to play this card called Take That, which is zero CP. I play it here. Play it in your discard. Uh, and it says roll one. On a on an arrow, I inflict another two damage. On a foot, I inflict Entangle. And on a moon, I inflict Blind. Dude, okay. Moon Elf is troll. Do it over here, dude. I can't see your dice. Oh, Keep sorry. your dice on the thing, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so I got, I got an, uh, I got an arrow which is an extra two damage. So you're going to take nine damage total. So nine total damage. Wow. Yeah. This game's fun. <laughs> so I'm at 40. What What the? Oh, it's plus. Yeah, plus is minus on the side. Yeah, I did the same thing. So I'm at 41. 41. 41 bow shot damage, dude. Ow. Yeah. Dude, savage. savage. Okay. Well, All right. Now you're so in the main that, phase again. that attack defense thing is over, I get a second main phase, which means I can... Um, spend combat points to play cards again but i i don't have any combat or points. discard cards to gain combat points right. now and then it's a discard phase which is if i have more than six cards i have to discard till i have a hand of six and then basically that's my turn so then i pass my turn to you all right so that was first turn you hurt me dude all right i hurt you for one though i hurt you too yeah yeah, yeah. there was some damage there was some damage dealt. all right i haven't even had a turn yet Oh, and I also, uh, yeah, that's it. All right, so I'm in, I, I now we so we start with the upkeep phase, which means I you do get, have an upkeep thing. Yeah, I get yep. to do my quick draw, so I get to gain a reload. Yep. Bloop. Um, cool. And I think that really just gives me a reroll. Yeah. At half of an attack. Oh no, I can add to an attack during the offensive roll. I can add damage to it basically. Yeah. Spin this token, spin roll one, and add the half value, round it up. Okay. So it's an oh, attack. Bill, uh, did you see this uh, comment from Bill? When you blow up the board, it doesn't blow up the upgrades affected. No. So when you're when you're doing the alt on my moon elf, I guess it's not showing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Yeah, I did see that. I'll be sure I look at it, Bill. Yeah, I mean, there's no way I can do that. It's just in tabletop sim when you blow up certain elements, it just. I, I thought you meant when you like literally blow up the board. <laughs> oh. um, okay, so I gain a combat point in the income yeah. phase. I draw one card. You draw a card. Yeah. Nice. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. All right. Nice. And now we go into the main phase. That's right. So main phase, I'm going to be playing some cards and stuff like that. So I'm going to play Get Paid, man. Get Paid. Get Paid gives me two CP. Right. Oh, boop, boop. what? That's just so good. Yeah. 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 Um, So you've got evasive right now, right? So, uh, Zeshin, there's no rolling in the roll phase unless played cards as to roll one or more dice. Um. I mean, there's the offensive roll phase where you roll your five dice and you can do it Yahtzee style. Um, there's no targeting roll phase because we're only playing 1v1. Um, that's when you play with more, more than two players. And the defensive roll phase is when, when you have defendable damage, you can roll um, your defensive dice. Interesting. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to sell Wild West for a buck. So basically, I'm discarding Wild West for a CP. It's going to be loading me. So it gives me four one. CP. Okay. okay. Um, uh, uh, still reading these cards, guys, to figure out yeah, what, yeah, yeah. what I'm supposed to be doing here. How, so I need to look at what I can even do. Oh, okay, okay. Whoa, my board is, gets so big. Smaller, smaller, smaller. Jeez. Um, and we'll figure out this build, guys, eventually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so sorry about all the movement of all pieces. Um, okay. Here's all my abilities, guys. You got straights, small straights, dead eyes, knockdown. Basically, kind of stuns him out so he can't attack. Um, evasive allows me to dodge stuff, um, and then duel is kind of lame. <laughs> I'm like, I've got the l worst, like, uh, okay, I've got four combat points. I actually think duel is a really awesome defensive ability. I don't know. I don't like the fact that it doesn't stop the damage. It just makes me shoot you back. It doesn't actually, or prevent half damage. I oh, can you could prevent, prevent half of it. Yeah, but if you do 12 damage to me, I'm still taking six damage. I'm like, ugh. It's like, ugh. Like I'd, I, I, there's got to be an upgrade for it. I assume there's something that makes it better. Yeah, I think there's, I think there's upgrades for everything okay. in your deck. I don't want to do I don't that. Know. Um, so I think what I'm gonna, 
do is what's bounty? Let me read what bounty does. Bounty is a negative status effect. When a player reflected this token is attacked by an opponent, the attacker increases their damage by one. Okay, so and gains CP. What? Yeah. So so oh. if I if you put bounty on me, then yeah, every time. That happens. All your damage is plus one, and you get your CP for it. All right, so yeah. I'm going to spend a buck, boop, and I'm going to upgrade Bounty Hunter to Bounty Hunter 2. Oh, Bounty Hunter dose. Yeah, Bounty Hunter dose, dude. Um, I'm then going to spend... How much is this? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, so you're doing it in it. Bounty Hunter dose basically gives you an extra undefendable damage when you, when you proc that. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to stop. Okay. That's pretty good. That's I'm pretty good. stop here. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's stop there. Let's stop there. Okay, I'm just going to try to do this roll thing, dude. So this yeah. this revolver token I have, basic reload lets me, at the end of my roll phase, I can spend a token to add damage to my attack. Add half of a dice as attack damage. And all the yeah. dice go one to six. Round it yes. up. Yeah. Uh, round it up. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to roll my five dice. So I'm moving on to the offensive roll phase. Okay. At the moment. All right. <laughs> great <laughs> okay. you got four bullets. uh bullets and mm. one bullseye and so you do have to pay attention to the numbers guys because there's straights and stuff you have to pay attention oh to. right right right. small straights large that. straights i wasn't doing that on my turn yeah, just, yeah it's not only matching some are matching some are actually number value that matters but in this case three ones is garbo time yeah um so i'm actually going to keep i'm going to keep the two this one three and this six bullet and i'm going to roll these two. Oh, i see i know what you're going for wham he wants Bounty Hunter bad, dude. Yeah! Woo! Okay. All right, so we got there. So that gives me the ability to proc Bounty Hunter. Um, Bounty Hunter 2, that is. Like Bill yep. was saying, it's blowing up. So I have Bounty Hunter 2 available right here. Right. Uh, which is pretty sick. Because this will let me start rolling, man. So when a player afflicted with his token is attacked by... So this, this never leaves you unless you remove it. Uh, what bounty hunter? Yeah, I believe that's true. So, yeah. do is there something better I should go for here? I mean, I'm feeling pretty good with that, dude. I'm feeling pretty good with that, you know. So, what I'm gonna do? So, this is undefendable damage. So, you can't use your evasive token. Evasive allows you to dodge an attack if you roll a one or a two. Well, um, hold on, hold on. Because this is undefendable damage undefendable i can't defend it but i think i can avoid it um there's a chart in the rule book there is about damage types and what you can do let's go to that page Queen, um, there it is so yeah undefendable damage i actually can avoid it avoidable you're right it says right here guys yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah. is there avoidable you there you go i knew I, I knew i read that somewhere so is evasive considered avoiding when a when a player with evasive receives damage they may choose to spend this token. If spent, roll one. If the outcome is one or two, no damage received, although associated effects may apply. Yeah. Now, it's just like, I just have to think if it's worth it. You're only hitting me you with do. two, but so, you will. So I'm going to roll this dice just to roll it because I have one okay. more re-roll. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're still in your roll phase again. Oh, oh, dude. I don't think that you can do anything else with that, though. Um, well, I'm trying to see. I might, I might have a card I can play. Um, oh, oh, this would be sick if I could get Dead Eye, dude. Oh, oh, I'm playing. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, a roll phase action card, Lyle. What a Vorpal! Okay. I'm gonna play for three CP, big money, oh. big money. I'm gonna play twice as wild. Change the values of any two dice. I can make. I can go for fill them with lead, dude. Wait, I, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, I have zero CP. Gain evasive, inflict bounty, and knockdown, then deal 10 damage undefendable. If I spend a reload, I may reroll that die one more time. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yes. It also says the ultimate. Dice may be altered to prevent an ultimate. Otherwise, no action of any kind yeah, no, may be I performed. Can't, I can't play an instant to... to, to yes! <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? So I'm going to flip these to... Boop, a boop, and two double crits right there. Get wrecked. Coming at me, dude. Coming at me. I mean, we got to give crits to the people for that, right? For for getting an ultimate. You can change the dice if you had a card that can do that. Oh, you got to give crits to the people. I'm going to give five crits because yeah. that's, that's you got five crits there. Dude, my first turn, you're coming at me, dude. I'm going to come at you, dude. 
Dude, first turn ultimate this is ridiculous. Yeah, and I can this spin is a rig, this. Dude. So this is 10 undefendable damage. Now what I'm going to do just because I'm mad, I'm going to spin my reload token, which I can do, to then pull proc the reload ability. So I'm going to I'm going to roll one of these. Get a 6. <laughs> so you're going to do another 3 damage. So it's, it's it's 13 undefendable damage. And I could reroll that again with this fill him with lead if I wanted to, but I'm not. So yeah, so that's thirteen. So you're gonna do undefendable thirteen damage. undefendable damage, but but there's there's stuff that happens before you do the damage. I gain evasive. You gain an evasive. I inflict, inflict a, bounty. a bounty. So this goes, this goes to you. Yep. You inflict a knockdown. I knock you down, and we got to read what knockdown does. Yep. And then you deal thirteen damage to me. And then so I'm deal, down to so, thirty-six. So basically, because of bounty, um, when a player afflicts, so the, this bounty doesn't trigger, I believe, so, on this turn. So. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh, no, 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 the one. bounty triggers, so I actually go down another one. I'm but hold up, hold up. We just got a tier two subscribe for 26 months. Yo, one touch. I don't know how, but Chris is definitely cheating. <laughs> this is the easiest <laughs> game ever. Oh, I got an emote from him. Oh, we're still giving emote gifts. Thank you so much for a ghost. Uh, and what up? Chris from Zmati says, when building that throne to sit upon, don't use D4s. Good call, dude. Good call. Yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah, a life yeah, lesson yeah. right there. Life lesson. Brought to you by... Uh... <laughs> but, but thank you so much, dude. Thanks for that support, man. Good to see you. I'm still alive. So that's what's important. Okay. Just the casual turn one crit reload. Okay, yeah. so yep. okay, so let's and, let's and Reld redeem spin the wheel. So I'm going to put you on the list there. All right. So yeah, because 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 you have to read the order from left to right. So you actually inflicted the bounty before you dealt the damage. Oh, you're saying with so fill the, him with lead. Okay. Yeah. So so the bounty actually goes into effect. So you actually did 14. So how does bounty work? damage to me? And so I gain a CP. Down to 35. And you get a CP. What? That's nuts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I do 14 with that, but also knockdown happened. What does that mean? Yeah. Did you give yourself an extra CP? Yeah, you did. Yeah, and so this uh, says so true knockdown move is, yeah. is on my turn before before I can't roll my offensive roll dice unless I spend two CP <laughs> to stand up. It's freaking dirty. Otherwise, you have to skip it. So you're just affected by that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. But when dude. I when I spend my my two CP, um, then I, I get rid of that status token. Yeah. Okay, so we're all caught up here. So I'm basically doing 14 undefendable damage to you. Yeah. So I'm down to 35. So he's at 35. Oh, get wrecked, dude. Hit me. Hit me. Trying to hit me in the beginning there, Lila. Trying to play with me, dude. Crap. That's ridiculous, dude. <laughs> Easiest game I ever played. Easiest game I ever played. Um, That card is nuts, dude. This twice as wild is so yeah, stupid. That's crazy. <laughs> It's big money, but it's it's, it's okay. good. So it's that's so it. good. So you couldn't do anything. Good. You couldn't do anything. You have your evasive token, right? I have my evasive token, but I can't. And you I, have this. I can't use that against an ultimate, right? And a bounty. How do you remove a bounty? You have to pay, right? Wait, wait, hold on. I can't. I can't evade an ultimate. That feels that feels wrong, right? Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't evade an ultimate. Yeah. You can't evade an ultimate. Okay, but the bounty you remove. How do you remove your bounty? I remove bounty by playing by paying two two CP. No, that's knockdown. Oh, it's knockdown. I don't think bounty you can. Bounty is, is a persistent thing. I have to I have to use a card to get rid of it. Okay. Oh oh oh, it's like a status effect. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice, dude. All right. So I'm now done with my uh, phase there. Do you you don't have any sort of defense roll phase? I guess you could still do it, even though it's undefendable. You can do your defensive roll phase. No, I can't. Why? I can't I can't roll defensive dice against undefendable or Yeah, you can. Undefendable damage. You just will still take the damage cuz you still roll 5 dice and then you just can't prevent the damage with the feet, but for every bow you'll deal one undefendable no, damage. No, 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 no. Back no. To me. I mean, look at the chart like I can't I can't defend undefendable damage so I don't roll that. I don't roll my defend. No, I think you still go through your defensive roll phase. You just won't be able to block it. You cuz look, no, you only roll the you only roll your defense dice if it's defendable damage. Really? Yeah, I don't I don't even roll because there's nothing to defend. Kobold says that's correct. Okay. Oh, I thought yeah. you still get to do this phase because you no, can no, no, do no, damage no. to me. It's only when you have defendable damage. Ah. That's why undefendable damage is really good. And that's why your ultimate's amazing because there's there's nothing you can do about it. Like you, all I could do is change your dice so that you couldn't get the ultimate off right that's all right that's all i can do but okay. once once it's in effect it just goes okay learning learning okay so i did all that damage to you now i've still got yeah. a combat point and i'm going to my main i go into the second main phase here um second main phase i could i could sell stuff for bucks to do things let's see 
Um, okay, so I'm going to sell this. I'm going to sell Bye Bye, which has removed a status of token from a chosen player. So I'm going to get rid of that for a dollar. Yep. Um, mm, I've got choices, Lyle. Oh, I mean, that's you could pretty. spend you could spend like two CP and get rid of my uh, knockdown for I me. I could. No, I don't think I can. <laughs> I could have played that bye bye card to do it. <laughs> I could have yeah. done that for you. Yeah, yeah. I don't know which one of these I should choose. I think. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna upgrade revolver to revolver two for two bucks. Okay. And on nice. four of a kind, I inflict knockdown again, dude. Oh gosh. So I'm at zero. Okay. Okay, and that ends my turn, right? Yep. Okay, and then it goes over to Lyle's phase. I discard phase, I have one card, so it doesn't matter, and it's over to Lyle. Okay, so I have no upkeep right now. Um, I do gain a CP and draw a card. Do. Hey, hey, Mortimus, what's going on, boy? Learning some games, learning some games here. Right. Um, crushing kids, you know. Crushing kids. <laughs> Undefinable damage is the worst. Samurai's big cheats with it. Ah. Um, we're learning here. You, look at all these statuses, dude. I'm going to put them around your head. Yeah, but yeah, put them up there so you can see them. <laughs> all right, we're going to... I hate... Dude, this I bounty is I have awesome. To do, this. do damage, get money. Do damage, get paid. Have you ever played I, I this hate game that I have to do this, but I'm going to... <sighs> no, this is not standalone. So much, this dude. is tabletop sim. This is table. This is the official mod available for tabletop sim, though. No I'm going to sell a car to get a CP. Ooh! So that I can use my CP to get rid of knockdown. Oh, gets rid of it. Yep. Yep. So this goes back to... Can I just delete this? Are these infinities? Uh, no, no, they're not. Okay. We haven't modified the mod enough yet. Okay. Yeah, check it out. It's um, free. I'll put the link right, in chat. So that's my main go. phase. Boop. There it is. There's the mod for anyone interested. Okay, main now, phase. And now we're going to play offensive role phase here. Wait, that's all you're doing? Wow. What? I don't have any more CP. What else am I going to do? I don't know, dude. I'm just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so I got covered roll. shot again. But I also have one, two, four, four, five. You do have covered shot. Yeah. Gain evasive. I can stack how many evasives? Three. Okay. So you have one upgraded thing. This exploding arrow. Yeah. Where the moons at? Oh, moons are your crits. Yeah. I'm actually going to keep the arrows, and I'm going to roll the feet. Keep the arrows, roll the feet. Yeah, because you get you get two re-rolls, man. Oh, four arrows. Four arrows, and one moon. And I have one, two, one, two, six. So with longbow, I can deal four damage already. Four? You can do five. Five damage, whoops, yep. I can do five damage with that. Yeah, check it out for sure, man. Reroll an arrow to try to get demising shot. Demising. This is as far as I can zoom in, guys, without blowing it up. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, this is not good. So small. Everything's so small. Roxley, you got to make it bigger. You got to make it bigger damage. so we can see it. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go for some, some straight damage. We're going to re-roll this. Uh, for the final roll, we're going to roll this six, I think. Okay. I really want to put the What are you going for? You're going for the here. seven damage here? On the longbow? Okay. Ooh, five bows. Five bow. So we are... Um, we, we can't roll anymore, so we're, we're going to declare to you that we are cashing in to do a... Uh, Longbow. A big ass longbow. So seven damage. Seven defendable yeah. damage. Seven defendable damage though, yeah. Okay. And that's it. Okay. That's so it. I will go to the defensive roll phase then, my bro. Yep. So what do I do? Oh shoot, clicking all things. I can uh, I can be evasive as well. Right? How's how do I spin this? I just spin So it? basically you spend the token, you roll a die. If you roll a one or a two, you you avoid the damage altogether. <laughs> uh yeah. Um, I'm gonna spin that. <laughs> Yeah. So I spend it now, right? Yeah. To dodge an attack. So I can do this, and then I can do to my defensive roll? Or is it one or the other? Um, I think it's... I do this, and then I still get to do my dual ability. You still get to duel if you miss. 
Okay, so I'm gonna try this. Here we go. Here we go. One time. One or two. Come on. Come on. We've got to go to two town. Oh, I'm nuts. Oh. <laughs> this game's rigged, dude. Oh, no this damage. It's freaking rigged. Evasive tokens can avoid undefendable. A gunslinger has an ability that gives you those sweet, sweet tokens. Yeah, man. Yes. Done it. Got it. Miss me, bro. Yeah, the evasive can 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 uh, avoid the undefendable. It just can't. Uh, you can't avoid the ultimate. All right. Why? Why? Uh, say again. Why you can't avoid the ultimate? Just because that's a rule. It just says that. Yeah. If you go to the the damage types in the rule book, it Ooh. says it right there. Mm. It's unavoidable. Oh, ultimate damage, guys, right here in the rule book. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> So this, it's got a nice chart in here. Defendable, avoidable, enhanceable, special targeting rules. So yeah, it's a lot yeah. of saying. You know, Zeshin, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm just mad. <laughs> no, I rolled a one, which was great. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't yeah. roll a two. Yeah. I would happily roll a two, though. Okay, so no damage, dude. So so no damage. Um, so that was, the, that was my... That was the whole offensive and defensive roll phase. Yeah. My next main phase, uh, I'm not going to do anything, and then that's it. It's your turn. Oh, welcome to the gunslinger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so because uh, it's Pat, it's my uh, my uh, turn here, I will upkeep first, which means in my yep, upkeep you get a phase, reload token. Get a reload because of quick draw. Yep. I gain a CP. I that's right. You draw a card. This is income phase. Draw a card. Let's see what card this is. All right. Um, oh, look at that, Lyle. Look at that. I, I, well, I can. I'm going Why to... Show it to me? Why don't you show it to me? Okay. I'm going to spin this for a buck. So I'm in the main Aww. phase. <laughs> yeah, do you see this? Remove all stat effects tokens yeah. from a chosen player. So I'll sell that for a dollar. Okay. Um, I'm then going to upgrade my quick draw to quick draw two. Oh. Let me re-roll that extra damage if I if I really want to. Plenty, you know, plenty of ammo right here? Yeah, plenty of ammo, dude. Plenty of ammo. Yeah, plenty of ammo. Now we're going to the offensive roll phase. So I'm at 41 health. You're at what? 35, 35 health. Yep. Okay, 41 yep. to 35. All right, so I'm going to roll my five dice here. All right. Choo, 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 choo. This reminds me of Destiny, dude. Oh, oh five dice five, in a row. Five bullets, dude. Dude, one, that's two, three. Dude, look at Revolver 2. Oh, you're going to knock Six, me down too? Four of a kind inflict knockdown of any, yeah. Get out of here, dude. Or wait, on four of a kind numbers, it says. But I got oh, four twos. Which you did get because you have four twos. Yeah, it's yeah. it's because the bullets are always going to be on one, twos, or threes. Yeah. It's kind of good. So I got four twos. Yeah, you uh, did. You got it. So I do six defendable damage. So you do six defendable damage and an inflict knockdown. And uh, inflict what up, Milesation? What's going on? But yes, what I'm going to do is uh, tabletop sim. Yep, the tabletop sim mod that they have there. Uh, I'm going to play. I'm going to play this reload token to add a dice to that okay. six damage. Five, so, so you're gonna do another three? three? Yeah, half of five is two and a half, so three. This would be a Matt question. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're gonna do oh. you're gonna do nine defendable damage to me and, and, and like, knock me down. So here's a knockdown token for you, my dude. Yeah. yeah. You're knocked down. So nine, we said. Yeah. Yeah. Nine. So nine defendable damage. Do you wish to go to the defensive roll phase? Of course you do. Uh, yeah. Well, I can't. I have no. I have no CP, so I can't do anything about anything. Yeah. Um. And uh, wait, hold on. You're you got me on bounty, so oh. you're actually gonna do like ten defendable damage to me, and you get a CP. And I get a CP, yeah, because of my bounty. That's right. Thanks for being uh, honest, Lyle. Thanks for being honest. Yeah, we got. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to keep in track track of. So guys, if we forget, um, you have yeah. to let us know. So you got bountied, and you got knocked down. I got my CP. So I'm doing how much? Nine? But actually, hold on. When does bounty happen? Does it happen when you actually attack me? When yeah. a player afflicted with this token is attacked? attacked. Yep. Okay, so it doesn't even if I avoid this, I think you still get the CP from bounty because you're just attacking me. So I'm doing ten damage because it's six plus three from my revolver plus yeah. one for bounty, so ten total. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pop my evasive token to uh -huh. try to. All to right, try dude. To avoid let's see this. if you got the moves. Let's see if he's got it, guys. No. <laughs> Shoot, man. All right. <laughs> so that was that was a waste, and now I'm gonna go roll to defend. All right. So now you're doing missed me. So you roll five dice. Rolls all his dice. Ooh, got a lot of feet. That's good, right? All right. So for on two feet, prevent half damage. It doesn't stack. So ah. um, so I take five damage. And for every two arrows, I deal one damage. So I know I'm not dealing any damage to you, but I do prevent half. So you take five damage. I take five damage. Nice, dude. Take that. Blam. That was pretty good. Damn, dude. 
All right. This is rough. Um, so then I go back to my main phase. Yeah, main phase part two. Um, I have a buck I can spend on things. Um, and I'm not gonna. I'm gonna chill. So I don't discard down or anything because I have no cards left. It's your turn, dude. Oh, damn, dude. Oh, damn. man, you started this off hot. You got cold. Yeah, sorry, hot, dude. You got you cooled off a little bit there. Try to I cooled off. Well, right. I thought so, I was, uh, no upkeep. I, I do gain one the... CP and draw one card. Yeah, I thought he had me. I thought he had me, guys. Um, and don't worry, guys. We will get to your uh, wheel spins in a bit here. We just want to try to get into the game here. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to... I don't want to have to discard this, but I'm going to sell this card to get a CP. Having to pay to attack is brutal, says Bill. And then so I'm going to use both my CP to get rid of stupid knockdown again. Oh, gets rid of knockdown. Yeah, nice. this is really slowing me down. Okay. Um, Because I have to pay to attack, and I can't use that to do other stuff. Why do you have to pay to attack? I don't understand what you mean. Read read your knockdown. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude, it's so good. I have multiple ways I can inflict it, too, which is savage. So I'm going to go into my offensive roll phase. We're rolling cards. Uh, dice. What'd you get? Two? All right. I got a full house. Full house. Not that. Which means nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, it means nothing. Um, Yeah, full house doesn't really help you, does it? No. Three bows and two feet. You almost have covered. Yeah. You know, I mean... You could go for covered shot, get you seven damage and an evasive token. It looks like. Yeah, I think I might. It's so small. I'm like, <laughs> I think I might keep those three and. I mean, you should get something for full house, dude. You know, that feels bad. Yeah. Man. Full house not paying out. That feels bad. Yeah, I'm gonna reroll these two. What is this? What kind of Vegas is this? Oh. Okay, four feet. Wait, that doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. Remember the okay. numbers, though. Remember the numbers mean something for your yeah. straights. Yeah, four, 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 five, Which, two. in this case, means nothing. <laughs> but... <laughs> I have a 50% chance of getting covered shot. But if I don't, I don't have an out, which which I don't like. Oh, you like trying to go for your safety longbow? Yeah, like Let's it's, see, it's two, nice to have four, a safety What do you need? You need a three to get a small straight to do your entangling yeah. shot, which whatever entangle does. Yeah, so I'm gonna just roll this one die. So I can either get a three. I don't know. Or, I, would, I want a three or an arrow. I'm not you, but I would roll these two and hope for a three as an out on my small straight to at least do seven defendable damage and do entangle. Oh, you're right. You're right because that's a small straight, not a large straight. Uh, yeah, yeah. I get one fewer roll attempt during my offensive roll phase. Okay, but it does go away after that. Right, right. right. We're doing. We're doing this. We're doing this. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. So does this mean we anything? don't do. It doesn't mean anything. I think five, uh, five, three numbers of the same do nothing, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything. I don't. I think you. Uh, that's a bunk roll, dude. I think it's a bum roll. Oh, savage. That sucks. Yeah. 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 I mean, that, it, that made sense, right? Like, I would go for this as, like, an out, and maybe you would hit your longbow. Yeah, because if I... Because your yeah, odds so are you're going to hit this. I rolled this. that, and I missed. Yeah. <coughs> You had like a 50 50 on each of these to hit at least your yeah so I, yeah i need a chance to to roll either um foot and an arrow or or the number three right so rolling two dice like where it was going to help me try to get to entangling shot better right yeah so yeah, yeah. you missed dude <laughs> sorry man oh dude dude so that's a straight miss so you go to your main it's base. a straight miss yeah. Do you have any cards and that's it that's that's my turn that's my turn you have no cards okay no cards you want to play? Okay, dude, that's Lyle's turn. All right, dude, I have zero CP, dude. I can't. I can't be Lyle's playing cards. Lyle's sitting at thirty. I'm at forty-one. Okay, yep. sitting at thirty, forty-one. All right, let's go to upkeep phase. Let's get that reload. Bloop. Get that reload token. Income yep. phase. Gain a buck. Boop. Draw a card. Swing. Uh, let me see what this card is. Uh. Interesting. Um, I don't know if I really want this. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna go to the main phases. Uh, do I want to do you? Uh, do I, uh, I mean, I might as well just hold on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm just going to go to my offensive roll phase. Okay. Let's roll these dice. Rolling them dice. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Oh. Well, I got a small straight for a showdown. Yeah, a small straight. What does that do? After targeting an opponent, you each roll dice. If your roll is equal or greater, deal seven damage. Otherwise, deal five damage. What do I get on a large straight? Gain two evasive, deal seven damage. Ooh. 
The showcase showdown, dude. Dude, maybe I go. So one, two, three, four. I need a five. I need a five. Uh, showcase showdown. Uh, uh, or do I go crazy, dude? Do I go for this bounty hunter? Because you knocked. You took away. You took away the knockdown. What do I have? I on? took away the knockdown. Yeah. What I else? still have the bounty though, but yeah. I got dead eye over here that can knock down. What else do I have that can knock you down? Did I? Oh, this knocks you down. If I get four That's of a kind, I get knocked down, but I get up again. <laughs> you, you did. Uh, four <laughs> of a kind's not really there for me in the bullets because I went one, two, three. Maybe I go for the large straight. Just get some evasive, do some damage. You know, I'm trying to think. What do I? Or I go two. Well, the of the... thing is, like, you already have the small straight, right? Oh you God. can go for the long straight, and if for some odd reason something happens, you still have revolver. So you have like two different outs. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with this. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna see what happens with this. Yeah, let's see if we okay. can get this five. Let's see if we can get this five. Five one time. Ah, uh, four of a okay. kind. Uh, no, so it's not four of a kind. Well, no, not, it's, not, it's not by numbers. Yeah. No, not by numbers, but it does five damage right now. Um, dang it, I want four of a kind numbers, dude, because I want to knock you down so you can't get no, up again. Get the get the knockdown out of here, dude. F F the <laughs> knockdown, dude. <laughs> so I got the four bullets. I got to go for five bullets. Just does six damage, but. I can't get four of a kind then. I kind of like, I got a, I got a shot here. I kind of, am, I'm going to keep these twos and I'm actually going to roll these three, dude. Wow, dude. Yeah, I'm going big. I'm going big money because I want the money. Okay. Last roll. Dang. Okay. So you got four bullets. Uh, one, two, two, three, six. So okay. one, two, two, three, so six. Numbers don't mean anything. Is, uh, so four bullets. So I'm basically dealing five damage. Uh, I will then throw in my reload because I can. And my yep. new my new my new quick draw says when I spin that now I can re-roll it once. Yeah. So I'm gonna roll this. So I'm doing so right now I'm doing five damage. Five dependable. damage, right. Dependable. And now you're gonna do half of whatever this roll is rounded up. So now you're doing two. seven damage. Seven damage plus one plus one for bounty. Bounty and I get so a buck. Eight damage and you got a CP. Eight damage and a CP. Okay. Is it defendable? Yeah. And it's defendable. So eight defendable damage over to Lyle. Okay, so I'm going to roll my defensive dice. So you roll five dice. Eight against eight damage. Um, oh, you get half, right? Yeah, so I'm going to take four damage, but I do one damage back to you. Undefendable. Yeah. Uh, deal one damage. Undefendable damage. I don't have an evasive, so I can't avoid it, okay, so, so I take one damage. Yeah, but it's still overall a good one for you because I'm at 26, you're at 40. Okay, so yeah, you took four damage. Yep. Damn, okay. dude. Damn, dude. Uh, so then we go down to uh, main phase again. Dude, I don't. This bounty sucks. The, the fact that I'm giving you money. <laughs> yeah, dude, um, I love the bounty. When you dude. attack me is yeah, crazy. The dot is great. Best dot. Yeah, it's re it's really good. Um, I don't know what I want to do with this. I mean, I guess I just hold on to this. I feel like I, I'm getting all the CP. I don't, and I need more cards. Like, how I do I get more so cards? Poor. The knockdown made me so poor, dude. I need more cards. I hate only getting one card. Okay, I'm done. It's your turn. I mean, I'm not right, doing anything. So, uh, no upkeep. I'm going to get one CP and draw a card. Yeah. Better D is good if you're getting beat. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the card I have. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm just going to hold on to it because what's the point? I can always just get rid of it in a main phase for money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like I want to do stuff, but I think the idea of this game is that it's very... It, it is. It does seem kind of like funky stuff, but it's actually pretty yeah. quick. There's like not a lot you do. <laughs> like, there is things you can do, but it's all based on your dice roll yeah. and what's in your hand. Okay. So, we're gonna we're gonna start our offensive roll phase. Offensive now. roll phase. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Uh, four arrows, all threes. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, though, right? and, a, and a foot. Four of a kind. So I can definitely do five damage to you right now. Mm -hmm. Five I don't really like this. I think I'm going to reroll all of them. Wow. To be honest. Um, I'm going to reroll because all. the chances of getting arrows are really high, and I keep getting them. I need some moons, dude. You need some crits, dude. You're not rolling the crits today. No, I'm Oof. not. Same thing. But worse. Now they're not all matched. Now but they're... worse. Yeah. Uh, Wait, no, one, two, one, 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 two, four. four. One, two, three. You can try to go for this entangling shot again. Yeah. You know, one, and two. go for a three, maybe? Yeah. Out of two of these two ones or something? Out Or these yeah. two ones? I don't know. Yeah, this kind of sucks. I'm going to roll those. I'm going to go for the entangling shot. Oof. 
Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, it's the wrong. Yeah, the no, wrong dude. House. Remember, Damn Full it. House, yeah. worst, worst, worst casino in Vegas right here. Yeah, <laughs> Full yeah house worst casino in Vegas. <laughs> Full house so I still pay. have this deal. I, I can deal three damage with one longbow. So that's the, I think that's what I'm doing because I think it's the only thing I can do. Yeah. One, one, two, four, five. Yeah, you've got it's this. Terrible Jesus, rolls, this man. So yeah, I think I'm going to do, I think I have to. I'm so, gonna do longbow. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna deal three undef uh, three defendable damage to you. So three defendable. Wait, actually, damage. hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I have anything in my hand? Yeah. Do you have any cards? You drew a card, right? Um, yeah. So I'm gonna be using duel. I hate. Oh, duel. I do have something in my hand. Oh, he has a thing. What's he discarding? What's he playing? I can play this. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, He's gonna play a thing. He's gonna play a thing. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna use one CP. Uh, oh. I'm gonna play uh, same Z's. Same Z's. Change the value of one of your dice to be identical to the value of another one of the dice. Um, so I'm gonna change this one uh, to be a five, so that I can do covered shot. Ah. So I'm gonna gain uh, an evasive and deal seven Defendable. damage. Yeah. Okay. So gain an evasive. Do anything about this? Yeah. All right, that's a thing. Yeah. Okay, so now I have to do duel. So I roll one dice, and then you roll a dice. Okay. So I'm going to roll this one. I'm going to roll whoa, this whoa, one. I rolled two. Hold on. It was this one I was making. So I rolled a two. Okay. Well, I rolled this crit, dude. You rolled a crit? Okay. So you, Yeah, dude. So you beat me on a crit. Uh, I just deal one defendable damage. So I deal one defendable damage to you, and I take how much? Seven, six, five. What? How much damage were you doing to me? Uh, I was doing. I'm sorry. I'm doing seven damage to you. Okay, so I take seven damage. You take seven damage, and you just do one back to me, right? Yep. Defendable. Yeah. I guess you can try to defend that. Right. Wait. If okay. your roll is not greater, deal one damage. It's defendable. But damage, I'm not. So. That's kind of odd. How does that work, uh, Cobalt? He's dealing damage back to me with dual. I can't defend that, right? Because I'm the attacker. <laughs> like you're you're attacking me. Then does he get a chance to defend reverse damage in an in an attack? I don't think so, because I think I'm the attacker. But that's actually a good point, man. Um, like, I believe he does. Yeah, I have a feeling. Oh, like, so I do. I guess we could go to the rule book on that. Yeah, let's go to see if the rule book. Cobalt so, says I believe he does. Defendable point, damage. And I... Type each damage has one or more of the following attribute: defendable, blah 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 blah, undefendable, blah 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 blah, ultimate damage, blah 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 blah. At least that's how I played Samurai vs. Gunslinger. He says. So, where's the thing on attack? Turn phases, health, combat points. No. Defendable Defensive roll phase. Maybe it's in here. Based on the dice, the defender resolves all non-damage effects. There is one last opportunity for any player to spend status effects or play cards. Finally, damage prevention and or healing effects are calculated and applied simultaneously at the conclusion of the roll phase. Note, if all remaining players simultaneously reduce to zero health, the game is a draw. What? It doesn't say. Defender rolls the indicated number of dice. The defender for the defensive roll. The defender resolves all non-damage effects. Bra bra bra. It doesn't actually say it does say there's one last opportunity for any player to spend status effects or play cards but it doesn't say that you then try to defend reverse damage i think i just do damage to you yeah i don't know it doesn't hmm. it doesn't specifically say it here you know what i mean yeah so i wonder if there's like so i think i only time you can't defend is if it's undefendable. That's what I'm saying. I'm, like, defendable damage, like, it's like, why would they call it defendable damage if it's... Right. You know, like, if, why wouldn't they just say undefendable damage on duel if, it, if that was the way it was, right? Right. Um, what's the question? So, if, if, so, so basically what happened is Lyle attacked me i defended some and then because of my dual ability i was not greater i deal one defendable damage back to lyle even though he's the attacker does he get a chance to defend yeah it's not an offensive ability oh that makes sense 
So no, I would say no. I okay, so, so I, I do, I take, I take damage. So you would take one damage. Yeah. Okay. So I took the damage. You took your one damage. Oh, I think I already took it. Whoops. Because I was at thirty, and then I took four. Uh, and then I yeah, I took one more five. Okay. So it's thirty-three to twenty-five. Okay. So then that's the end of that. So now it's still yeah. your turn. So that was your attack phase. I defended. Oh right, right, right. So you're so um, I do main phase again. I could uh, play a card or sell a card. I'm not going to do either. I'm going to say it's your turn. Well, selling. Okay. Just over to me. Yep. It's Passes your turn. to me. All right. I get a reload token during upkeep. Right. Um, I get a point. I draw and a card. A card. Ooh, let's read new cards. New cards. Who dis? Um, wow. Okay. So I'm going to spend two bucks and I'm going to upgrade dead eye to dead eye two. Oh, great. So four crits. I get knocked down, deal eight undefinable enforcers, three crits, gain evasive, inflict bounty and knockdown on two opponents. Ooh. The enforcer part is crazy. Gain invasive. And it doesn't do down, damage, though. Down it, just, it just procs you, which is nice because it forces you to use your knockdown. If I want to yeah. proc knockdown on you. Yeah, again. that's just... An, yeah. Oh, dude. Pretty sick. All right, so let's go to this roll phase. So dirty, dude. Here we go. Wow. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, three running... Th Ooh, I, I I got take cover proc'd here. Yeah. First time. Ah, oh, gosh. Take cover. Gain evasive, deal five damage. Ooh. Plus, you could add some more damage to that. Gain evasive, deal five damage. Do I just want to take that, dude? This this full house pays out for me. Oh, uh, you still have bounty up, butt. right? Skin's a little butt. So you still have is. bounty, man. I like I. What are my numbers? One, two, four, five. If I got a three or something, like I'm like I only. Why I don't just want to stop. Like <laughs> I want to keep trying to I attack know, you. I know. Um, like it feels so like boring just stopping after one good roll. Like, I want to push my luck, dude. But is that bad in this game? I don't know. I don't know. It depends on what you're going for, man. Like, you know, I don't have any cards to really do anything. You know what I mean? Uh, Bolt, Kobold says, fan the hammer. Go for the large straight. Gain two evasive and deal seven damage. One, two. What am I at? One, two, four, five. I guess I could try to flip this for a three. <sighs> to the bone, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You can have my ox. Uh, you know what? I'll just take the take cover, dude. It seems so lame. And then I'll then I'll proc oh, okay. my uh, I'm gonna this. proc my reload. I'm gonna do the take cover, so I'm doing five damage. Plus, I can re-roll that because of my uh, yeah, quick draw too. Yeah. Boom. So, you're doing, so you're, okay, so you're doing eight plus your bounty, so you're doing nine damage, and you get a CP. Get a CP. Nine total defendable damage. Nine total defendable damage. I'm going to proc my evasive. Okay, he's going evasive, guys. He's going to try to dodge it. All Misses right. it. Of course, now I crit. <laughs> Worst All crit. Right, now I'm going to uh, roll my defense dice. Yep, five dice for missed me. Uh, I'm going to do one damage back to you, but I'm going to, t I'm going to take it in full. So you're taking nine, we said? I'm taking nine, and you take one. I take one undefendable. Boop. Down to 32. Bam! Take that, dude. This is crazy. Oh, and I gained an... Uh, what did I do? I did the take cover, right? So I gained an evasive yeah. token as well. Yeah, you gained an evasive. Um, Ugh. Blam, My rolls so. have been so bad, dude. All right, so main phase again? Uh, I'm good, dude. Discard phase, I skip. Over to you, man. So 32 to 16 right now. All right. I'm going to get a CP and a card. Imagine if he misses all of it. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I mean, there is a big swing here. I mean, even though yeah. even though it's 16 to 32, I mean, you had a good start. I've had some pretty good rolls right off the bat, but I don't feel like you're out there of the game. No, you have not had a turn or a roll that was bad. No. I, I, I feel like but do you, you feel, started off with like freaking ultimate. But it doesn't feel like you're really out of it yet. I feel like you just haven't had good rolls. I feel like I had one good turn. Yeah. And that was it. <laughs> Ooh, you got a crit. Um, one for three, four. Yo, three, yo four. what up? Oh. What up, Cream Corn? What up, what up Cream? On, Justin? What up, Justin? Oh, didn't make it. <laughs> just joking, dude. I wasn't going to say it, dude. Come on, man. <laughs> best of the worst. Come on, dude. No, he's best of the worst, dude. He did the best of the worst reversal. Oh, dude. Nah, what up, man? Nathan did great. Let's talk yeah. about Nathan. Let's talk about Nathan. Day two. Um, all right, so... <laughs> 
I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna, that keep guy, I'm gonna keep the moon. I, I'm. I'm going. I'm going hard. This is a small straight here. Just so you know, three, oh, four, five, is. six. Damn it. If you want, if you want to do it, if you want to do it, entangling shot. Oh, I can, I can entangle you and deal yeah. Sam seven. But congratulations on the wins, you guys. You did great. You did good. You can did entangle good. you and deal seven. Entangling. I saw, that, I saw that, Justin. Okay, no, that's not, that's not good enough. Entangling just takes away a reroll. Yeah, yeah. Not good enough. And then it goes away. Small wasn't good enough. Yeah. Double crits. You're halfway, halfway to eclipse right here. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. You can blind me, whatever that means. Can't you see? Can't you see? I'm going blind. Oh. Oh. I went no. hard and I got nothing now. Is this nothing? Two crits is worth nothing? You got no cards to reroll some stuff? Hold on, hold on. I'm looking at my cards. Four, five, four, five, six. Uh, you don't have see a straight. No, you don't have a straight. You don't have any matchy things. You need three of these at least. Blind. Oh, I can do something. What? What? Yep, I can do something. I'm going to spend a CP. Ah, you have cards. I'm going to play tip it. Tip it. Increase or decrease any die by the value of one. I'm going to increase this five to a six. Dang. And now I can do uh, exploding arrow three. Okay. Yeah, baby. Wow. Okay, uh, so and so I roll five dice. Deal three damage plus two damage for every arrow. <laughs> All this math. Plus one. Plus, plus one damage for every foot. And yeah. then additionally, the opponent loses one CP for every moon. And I inflict blind and entangle. Oof. So what's, yeah, dude. what's blind? The next time a player afflicted with this token and concludes their offensive roll phase, they must remove this token and roll a one dice. On a one or two, they fail. Okay. Yeah. Dang, dude. So you got an exploding arrow, man. All right, so I'm going to do it. So I roll five dice. Okay, he's going to roll five dice. Yeah, that's crazy, Justin, man. I feel bad. But you guys did good. I hope you had fun. We wish we, wish we could have been there with you guys. I was just just throwing shade. Just throwing shade. All right, so I deal three <clears throat> plus two for every arrow. So I do five for every arrow. So I'm doing do ten for that plus one for every foot. So I'm doing 13 defendable damage to you. Yeah. You didn't roll plus any crits. I inflict, plus I inflict blind and entangle. Dang. You had a good time, though? Awesome, man. Yeah. Because he forgot Infernus can purge his own discard. Dude, that's, that's insane, man. Yeah. Okay, so, so you're doing how much damage? I'm 10? doing 13, I believe. 13 defendable damage. 13 defendable damage, plus I, I blind and entangle you. Okay. Oh, you got it do that blind and entangle me dude yeah so this this doesn't blind and entangle does not affect my defense no i think it's Offensive. all it's all on your offense okay yeah. cool yeah. so i can use my evasive token then i believe you can you're still gonna get these status Whoa. tokens even yeah, you. yeah so i'm gonna do that do the evasive good morning gentlemen oh, says, what up, Welcome. Wolf. thanks for the 13 months appreciate it guys what ver what vary of gunslinger is this uh what variant i don't know it looks this is the only one we know so, okay, so we're coming over here. I'm going to do evasive. I get to roll one. On a one or two, I avoid everything. I'm nuts. <laughs> Easiest game I ever played. This game is <laughs> this game's hacks, dude. Yes. I'm invincible. Woo. All right. Uh, what would you like to try again? <laughs> no, You're no. That, that's, my, that's my turn. <laughs> That's my Dude, game. evasive is so op. Evasive is so op. He's is so it? good because I've or I've I've tried to proc it like three times, <laughs> and I can't I can't evade anything. Bill's right, dude. We've been practicing for for like five years. You know how many ones and twos I can roll? A million. This two town man. Welcome to twos and ones. <laughs> it pays off. Woohoo! I'm so mad right now. <laughs> <clears throat> this is so stupid. Dude, gunslinger's my my jam because I roll ones and twos. All right, so you're not gonna do anything with your main phase. I have zero CP. I can't. I can't. Okay. I'm done. All right. Over to me, man. Let's up. Let's get my reload. Schwapank. Let's get a buck. So let's draw a card. Schwung. Let's see what my new card is. Ooh. Um, I'm going to spin. I'm going to do some things. I'm going to upgrade. Wait, what? Where is this? Uh, oh, okay. I'm going to upgrade Fan the Hammer to Fan the Hammer 2 for two bucks, which says uh, with a large straight to gain evas two evasive tokens and deal eight damage. Pistol Whip. 
gain evasive, inflict knockdown, and deal one undefendable damage, dude. What? Dude, pistol <laughs> whip is stupid. Because knockdown is nuts. Knockdown is like... No, knockdown is nuts. I can That's lock crazy. you down. It's just not fair. Um, Okay, so I'm good. Offensive roll phase. Oh, wait, I have to do a thing, don't I? Because of blind. Help, help, I'm going blind. Concludes... Uh when you conclude your offensive roll phase, so after you're done rolling and you choose your attack, then you roll a dice. If you roll a one or two, that attack just fails. Okay, and entangle goes away at the end of my turn. I just get one re-roll. Uh, player picking with this token gets one fewer roll attempts for the next thing at the conclusion. Yeah, the conclusion of roll phase, it goes away, yeah. Okay, here we go. Firing off. Ooh. One, two, three, four. I got a small straight. Target yep. opponent, you each yep. roll you have one. You have one other roll. If your roll is equal or greater, deal seven. Otherwise, deal five. Mrah. Or I got the bullets, man. One, two, three. I got two threes. Ugh. I can't believe I got that one that one time. We just got to go for large straight, man. I want to get those. I want to get these evasives, dude. I got to go large straight. I don't have. I can't go for large straight. I could. You can. Why? One, two, three, four. Oh, I can make this a five. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You can, you can roll that three and make it a five. But I only get one shot at it. Yeah, you only get one shot because of Entangle. Yeah. Uh, or do I just take my four and deal six damage? Or, no, I still got a small straight, even if I miss. I still got the showdown. Okay, so I'm just going to go for it. Come on, large straight. Dang. Okay. So, <clears throat> I could either do, I could either do Revolver two and deal five damage. Or I could do one, two, three, four with my showdown. Ah, too many tokens on my board. Each roll of dice deals seven. So I'm still doing five. Okay, so I'm doing five either way here. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do showdown. Okay. Um, this goes away. That goes away. Your your blind goes away, uh, but you have to roll now. Now that you've decided that you're going to do showdown... Yeah. You roll a die for blind. If you roll a one or two, that, that attack just straight up fails. Right. And is this before I do my reload? Um, like this says I, I think you can choose to proc your reload after you see if this attack goes through. Well, I'm going to do it anyway because there's no point in me holding oh, it. Oh, holding on to it. So okay. I'm going to do it. So first, right now. This is the reload. Yeah, so this is reload. So it'll add how much damage? Let's see. Three damage. Okay, it'll add three damage, yeah. So, so it'll be whatever the... So, plus three. We just have to remember it's plus three because yeah, of my reload. it's plus three if this goes. So, roll a dice and see if it goes in. Because okay. if you roll a one or two, this attack fails. Come on, six. Oh, oh. missed it. Nice. <laughs> damn it. Are you kidding me? All right, so now we both roll a die. Yeah, now we both roll a die. So, I'm going to roll this one. I'm going to roll this one. Beat a two, man. What'd you get? I got three. Three. So, you beat it. So, that means... So you're going to do uh, five. Plus three is uh, eight. Plus three. Uh, eight plus your bounty is, is nine. nine. Plus I get a buck. Yeah. So okay. you're going to do nine uh, defendable damage to me. Nine defendable damage. I don't have any CP. Go big. Um, so I'm going to roll my defensive dice. Okay. Here comes nine damage. Nine damage one time. All right. So I'm going to reduce it by half. Uh, round it up. So I'm going to take five damage and do one damage to you. He took five damage. Okay. Nice, dude. That's a, that's a and hit. You do one, and I, yeah, I do one to you. You do one of them. Boop. Uh, All right. Now we're back to the main phase here. Um, and I'm done. Your turn. Okay. <laughs> uh, we are going to get one CP. Oh, did I get my buck from the bounty? I think I did. I'm at three. Yeah, you right? did. Yeah. All right. Um, you tried to, tried to tangle me up, dude. You tried to tangle me up, little moon elf. That blind is annoying. Oh, Okay. Here we go. Oh, wow, I got a card. I got a card. Yeah, open I'm going ultimate. to... Killer. Yeah, baby. All right, so I'm going to throw away bye bye to get a, a CP. Oh. And then I'm going to cash in my CP to play oh. Transference to move this bounty on you. Can you put a bounty on me? Satisfied, dude. I guess. So you're putting a bounty on me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Does that count? Does that work for you then? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that works for me. Now, Whoa, now what a play, now I have dude. bounty, dude. Dude, next level plays. Yeah, dude. 
So now I'm, I bount, you bountied me with my own bounty. Yeah. Wow. Dude. Yo, yo, bounty the bounty, dude. Dude, dude. The hunted becomes the, <laughs> the hunter becomes dude. the hunted. Dude. dude, it did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nuts plays, dude. In-game nuts plays. Okay. I have one, one, three, three, four. And four of these arrows. I hate the arrows. Um, uh, you get seven damage here with your longbow. Yep. Yep. ATM. You know, I'm I'm so far behind. I need to go. I need to go big. Boot elf too strong. Yeah, I need to go big. I need to go big. Gotta go big, dude. All uh, right, I got oh. uh, covered shot. Covered shot again. I think stay? we're going to stop here. We're gonna take covered shot. Um, we're gonna gain an, uh, an evasive, and we're gonna do seven uh, seven plus the bounty. So we're gonna do. Oh, and I get a CP. So I'm gonna do eight defendable damage to you. Eight defendable damage using my bounty. What a jerk. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, bounty great, dude. <laughs> uh, okay, so I roll a dice. We both roll a dice. Why do we both roll a dice? Because I'm oh, doing my defensive roll. Three. Yeah, for duel. Okay, I'm going to roll this one. What'd you get? Four. So, so... You, I deal one damage to you. One damage to me, okay. So I deal one damage to you, and you're dealing how much to me? I am dealing eight to you. Eight. Dang, dude. Boom. 23 okay. down to 23 damage dude what a comeback what a what a what a swing what a, yeah, swing. what a swing all right um i don't have cards in my hand so main phase is over and it's your turn oh, using my bounty against me savage dude savage plays <laughs> all right get my reload token uh gain a buck yep draw a card come on big cards yep. big cards right here um add one uh Oh, this is a good card. Okay, man. Let's roll some dice. Mm -hmm. Stupid pudding. Bounty on me. How do I get this bounty back again on you? What can I place a bounty on? Where's where's That's my right, bounty? Cobalt. I've got various bounty things. Where, where's my bounty? Common, oh, it's, it's this one. Two two crits, two bullets. Okay. you got to get the bounty back on your head. All right, get your little blue f f hand out of here, man. Blue hand up in here. <laughs> Um, oh, this this doesn't pay. Oh, yeah, what are we back to Crokinole? Yep. Um, uh, so you got one, one, two, ooh. three, five, five. Oh, almost a straight, dude. It, yeah, it's and it's the wrong end of the full house. Okay, I can almost pistol whip you though. Gain ev evasive. What is pistol whip again? Uh, gain evasive, inflict knockdown, deal one uh, undefendable damage. Almost there. So if I want to go for that, which I think I should, I'd like to put a bounty on you again, but. Dang. Okay, so I'm going to go for... I need to go for a crit here, dude. We need a crit. One time. Yeah! Okay. Okay, so I can pistol whip you with this. Five, five, six, three, three, four, five, six. I also have the showdown. You have the showdown. Three, uh, yeah. Three, showdown. four, five, six. And you still at, have another roll, too. How so. much are you at? Ten health? I'm at ten health. Uh, do I want to pistol whip you or just go for it, dude? That's five damage with the showdown right here. Yeah. Or I could go for the large straight, does eight damage and gain two elusive. So I have one more roll. So I'm at four, five, three, four, five, six. Um I'm gonna throw this, my last thing. Okay. Cause I'm gonna take this showdown. I'm not gonna do I guess they still have pistol whip. Yeah. Okay, so you have the you have the small straight. So I have I could either pistol whip you or I could small straight you. I could gain evasive and knock so, you down. Yeah, you can pistol with me, or you can, you you can deal straight. one undefendable. How does this? I've got I've got a card here I could add to. Um, which is pretty cool. Um. Okay, so I'm just gonna do yeah, I'm gonna do showdown. I'm gonna go with a three, four, five, six. Okay. So I've got the small straight. So we what do we do? We each roll a dice. And we each showdown. roll a die. Okay. Right. Here we go. Bop, 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 bop. Two. One. Oh, oh no it. way! <laughs> okay, right, so you do seven damage to me. Seven damage plus I'm gonna do a uh, attack modifier. I'm gonna pay a buck. I'm yeah. gonna play eat lead, which says I roll five dice for every bullet I add a damage. Yeah. If I add four damage, I inflict knockdown. Oh god. So how much damage am I doing right now? I'm doing you. You are doing seven, uh, seven right now. Seven. Plus I'm gonna add this a revolver here probably. But I'll do that. Yeah. I can do that at any point, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So seven plus, uh, so two. plus two. So you're doing nine. Nine. No knockdown. 
Okay. Uh, then I'm going to throw this in. Yep. To do half of this dice roll. Oh, I can do better than that. Uh, so, nine. so you're doing two. 11 damage. Oh, it's 11 because I'm at 9. Yeah. So 11 up, yeah. defendable damage. So 11 defendable damage. <sighs> okay. It's, it's evasive time. Dang it. 11 defendable damage. I'm not going to waste anything. All right. Over to you. On one or two. Oh, he missed it. <laughs> All right. No, it's okay because I still have my, I still have my defensive roll. Okay. He's going to try to defend. Otherwise, this kills you dead. Kill this moon foot, elf. Foot, 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 foot. Oh, he oh. killed me. I did two damage back to you, but I died. Two damage back, but you're dead? No, I did one damage to you, back to you, but but I died, yeah. One damage back to me, but you're dead? Yeah. You're down to zero? What is dead is always dead? Yep. That's so I it. win. Oh! That's it. What a bunch of bull, dude. <laughs> what a bunch of bull. Hacks, dude. Yes! Hacks. What a <laughs> bunch of hacks, dude. Gunslinger is the winner. Oh, the battle dice God. to the end. Oh, well, yes, we had fun. I think that was fun. I mean, my, I have to say, me getting this, this fill him with lead turn one with that card that I could switch two dice to any amount I want was nuts. That card is nuts. Plus, I started so, the game with a draw three card. So I had six cards in my hand I could sell for money, then pay for that and get nuts. Yeah. I just feel re it feels really bad. Like I like this game, but that that round felt really bad because I was rolling so poorly, and the knockdowns, dude, early, I was poor yeah. the whole time. You Most know, of the and, and I kept poor. having to discard my cards to get CP because I was poor from from the knockdown. Right. Um, and the fact that like my attacks would only go off fifty percent of the time. And then of those 50% of the time, you were defending or evading them like 75% of the time. Like, <laughs> I just felt like my attacks were only going in barely, and I just kept getting beat. Yeah. I just kept getting beat, and I was poor. But but guys, that's the that's the RNG part of the game, right? It's and, nice and that's And that's how you can use the status stuff to, to get Mitigate. an advantage on your opponent. So I had cards that I probably could have used – to help me modify my stuff, but not when I'm getting knocked down and stuff like that. So, so like, I think it's interesting. And I, I like the game because there, there is ways it, you know, it, it, it reminds me of like what Matt always talks about with like, you know, RNG feels bad until you have tools to, to modify it yourself and make decisions. So, um, with all the status effects and the modifiers, it's actually kind of interesting. Um, to sort of figure out what the best thing is. And, and, and me and you really like push your luck stuff too. So, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it's, so it's kind of like, Oh, do I go for the large straight? And it's just like knowing what outs you have, yeah. you know, if you can't get it is, is kind of fun. Well, the, the fun trade off there too is you, it is push your lucky, but it's like, okay, I have this, but what, yeah. like you started doing it later on and I was kind of doing it on my end was I, I, I want to bounty you. I want to get you knocked yeah. down. And so, yeah, Rather than it's push your luck, it's like I can either just take the damage, which is undefended. It could be defended. You have a much better defensive ability than I do. I was like, I'm just going to have to go fast. Like, Gunslinger is right. definitely Face Hunter, right? Which is my style, yeah. which is like, I need to get money. No, I think the Gunslinger is definitely your I think actually both of these characters are, are our styles. Yeah, I think so, um, too. Yeah, which, is, which I think is really funny since we picked randomly. <laughs> but I was, uh, how do you get targeted? Because targeted says when a player afflicted with this token is attacked by an opponent, the attacker increases her damage by two, and it's persistent. Yeah. Like if you could have procked me with that, but you needed crits. It looks like I needed crits with I, I wasn't rolling any moons at all. I really wanted yeah. to get you targeted. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be great. So that like that one time, I think I was going for dismissing shot, and I just whiffed completely. Right. Um. But because it, it's basically I wanted to get something on you so that every time I attacked, I would just do extra damage. Because you were doing that every turn on with your reload, which was amazing. Um, it's just extra damage, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, extra damage. And like Bill was saying earlier, like having the ability to, I mean, well, he was saying the knockdown really affected you, but, um, I was the knockdown. Gonna... I think was the knockdowns that you were doing to me, I think was the, the thing that really screwed me because it happened so early in the game and I was paying money to attack every single time. And the bounty, I had cards in my hand to, to get rid of, uh, the bounty, like the buy. And, um, there was another one. Yeah, oh, what status effects? Oh yeah, you needed this. I was like, but I needed the money 
to attack you, you know, or, or use it for something else. Right. So I never got to get these off, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I would just, yeah. And there is a stack limit on the target. It's one. Um, yeah. so it can't stack too much, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I think there's, there is sort of mitigation, but it's all, yeah, it's about playing your, your character strat and, like your ability is kind of take of things away. I mean, yeah, I, I, I think we both felt like entangle and blind. Yeah. I mean, blind, I think is well, the, the thing more powerful is if, one. If blind but... actually went off, then it would be the most amazing thing yeah, ever. It's good. Right? But entangles kind of the fact eh. that like you were like, whatever <laughs> entangles kind of like, man, cause I can still, I can still use cards and stuff. It's just taking away one of my rerolls. Right. Yeah. Um, and it, it, you can only have one, the evasive, um i think for us both having it i don't know if every character gets evasive maybe they do everyone has an evasive ability maybe maybe not but i think that's it's op but i don't think it's op because we both have it uh evasive is not op because i never <laughs> evaded any attack. well you have a 30 percent chance of evading all damage right so if someone tries yeah, to bomb yeah. you i mean i hit it a lot and like i prevented probably 20 plus damage from you yeah um in the entire game which was kind of a lot uh yeah dude <laughs> in the end of the game i mean look i would have been at like you you might have killed me if i hadn't evaded those uh yeah the fact that it can stack to three is also really good but i'm glad we yeah. both have it i think if one of us had evasion and one of us didn't and you have a lot of abilities to get evasion which i do yeah. um that you can stack up i think that's like super strong yeah um, but i also i also was saying at the beginning of this with gunslinger like i don't like my defensive ability i failed it every time um yeah. And yeah, your defensive ability is you're always going to get hit. But uh, it's the same one as mine, though. Like, like the best I can do is prevent it by half. Yeah. But um, that was pretty I'm good. That helped you a hit. lot. With some of those things, that felt like a lot of damage was being prevented. I mean, when I was doing 10, you were yeah. taking 5, and um, yeah. which I was like, dang it, because I'm having to ex either expel a lot of combat points or yeah. I'm having to take a lot of risk to add yeah. damage, right? But I, yeah. loved, I loved this thing that you could bounty me. Yeah, like, the bounty, that was cool. When I picked up that card, I was like, oh, my God, this right. is great. I mean, that's um, one thing too. Like, we haven't seen all our cards, right? Yeah, we haven't like, seen all our cards. I still have twenty-four cards. Like, I barely got through any cards. It just, it would because I was so poor, I couldn't draw cards. Like, I had this card, but I had to throw it away to get CP. You know, I had to throw this yeah. card away, which I would have loved to use and upgrade this thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, there was a lot of stuff I could have done. I just couldn't. I right. just, I was just poor, <laughs> <laughs> which is, which is how I kind of mitigate my, my low defensive ability is just yeah, evade yeah, exactly. and, so, and lock you down in weird ways. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, Hey yeah. man, I got lucky with a, with a freaking Yahtzee at the beginning of this thing, which was freaking that cool. Was crazy, dude. Um, yeah, no. So, uh, Bill was, I think asking, what did we think about it? Um, or someone was asking, I think it was Bill was asking what do you think? I, I, one game in, we're still learning. Like we said, yep. I think cycling and being able to see a lot more of our cards, I might have drawn a lot more of my powerful deck things, which is another RNG yep. element, right? So you've got huge RNG in dice. You've got huge yep. RNG in deck, like, drawing. Um, I can't say whether or not I think my deck's stronger than your deck or anything, but I think we have some card draw stuff in there. I got more card draw, and I got more... I got a card I can literally change two dice to be whatever I want. Like, yeah. that's a lot. amazing. That's a so lot. So good. <laughs> Out of five yeah, dice? So good. It's not even six dice. It's five yeah. dice, and if two well, of those... I, yeah, well, I like I like that one card I played. It was like one one CP, and I could I could I could tip a card uh, from oh, like right. five to six. Yeah, that was pretty good too. So like, yeah, there could be more of those cards in the deck, and we haven't even seen. Yeah, you know? and it reminds me of uh, the, the Destiny RNG. It kind of reminds yeah. me of like that. It reminds me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you like that or didn't like that, then you can kind of put that opinion into this um, with what Destiny does. But no, I do. I do see what people were saying though that it's it, the game. I, what I have to say is my first impression here. And I think we can maybe get one more quick one in uh, yep. because now we know how to play it, and maybe we'll try a different character or something. Um, just check some more stuff out. But I do have to say it. it when we're learning it and you're learning your character, it's like, wow, they can do a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. I can do. It's actually not that much stuff you can do because you're limited to combat points. You're limited to what you roll. Yeah. <laughs> and exactly. You can only so, have a couple cards in your hand. I was, when I watched the video, I was kind of overwhelmed a little bit. Cause I'm like, there's a lot of stuff to keep track of, but when you're actually playing your round, your options are fairly limited. Um, yeah. You know, it's limited by your combat points you know, it's, it's, it's limited by what you actually roll. And, and then, so decisions sort of end up, you know, li you know, becoming, becoming smaller and smaller for you, which is, which is a good thing. Cause, um, you know, it, it makes you have to be very, very smart about those like micro decisions. Yeah. Um, Sultan is asking, does twice 
and wild state a player it can be used on. I think he's talking Twice about the card. And wild state. Are, are you talking about the card that Lyle had? Uh, was it twice and wild? Let's see. I think your card that was like the, the, you can twice your wild card. Can you do it on me? Oh, twice as wild. Um, oh, right here. No, because actually I could, I could, I think during a roll phase, I think I can play this during a roll phase. No, but I right? thought, I thought you can only play the exclamation, the red exclamation point cards on my turn. I mean, it's a roll phase action. Yeah, twice as wild from Gunslinger. Yeah, I I think actually I remember someone saying like you could use this is what you could have maybe if you had this against me when I was going for my fill him with lead. Oh, doesn't, it doesn't have to be an exclamation point to be an instant. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, it doesn't, any role phase. Okay, cool. So yeah, I yeah, you're right. You could have done this on me if I wanted to uh, stop against you. my attack. Rules. Yeah, I mean it's yeah. expensive card. I used it for myself to gain. I mean this is this I think was the best card I got like right here. I this, think that's the best card you got. But it's that's worth the best three. Card that we you got to pay three I was bucks. Like, this is crazy. You got to pay three good. bucks. Um, you definitely got to pay three bucks to do it, and then you can utilize it in various ways. So it's very flexible and it's very cool. So, but yeah. the, but so like what we were saying in terms of like RNG and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of levels of mitigation that you can do with your hand playing against other people. And then yeah, like Sultana yeah. says, if you're playing a two v two game and there's multiple people doing things yeah. to each other. I mean, like, if we're 2v2 and we're on a team, I can either use it to help you, help me, or hurt one of them, right? Like, yeah. which is pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I the, the 2v2 is actually kind of really interesting to me um, when you play team mode like that. Because um, you share, I think you share a health pool um, between you and oh, your you team. Oh, you do? Mate. I didn't look that up. That's cool. Yeah, but, but, your, but your combat points are your own. So you can't, like, give a combat point to your friend. Right. Um, but yeah, all of that, like sort of dice mitigation, you can help each other. That's, that's really kind of cool. Yeah. And, uh, Bill's asking, does the color of the card represent type or is it rarity related? It's, it's type related, but like it's related your, your deck is specific to your character. So when you pull out your character yep. stuff, it's got its own deck. Yeah, it's um, got its own deck. Yeah. It's cost, I guess, would be more of its rarity thing because that card, that twice as wild card is three CP. It's one of the most expensive cards I think I have. I think, I don't think I didn't see anything higher than three. So yeah. it's rarity, I guess, would be that it's really expensive. So if you're going to use it, right. you, I guess you could go through your deck and see how many are in your deck. Yeah, um, There might only be one or two or even one, but it costs a lot. So you got to use it specifically, right? And try to cycle yeah. back through. Um, I think I had, I, I, I had that draw card that drew me three cards at the very beginning of the game. And that was two CP. And that was an instant. So yeah, I think the highest one that I saw was three CP for me. Yeah. The highest one, I believe, is a three. Like, I've got I've got a couple three upgrade. Like, you're, I think most people, their max upgrade, level three, is going to be a three CP cost um, to try to just jump right to it. You do get to discount if you're on level two. To go to level three of something, it only costs one more because you've already paid two of the upgrade. So it's not like yeah, yeah, yeah. to go from three. So, so for me, I, I jumped straight to, like, level three on my, in my first turn, but I could have done it incrementally. Yeah, and... It would have still cost uh, you. I'm, I'm doing a search on my deck. I do have a four CP cost card. Oh, you do? I only have three. Um, I just did a search yeah. too and only saw a three. Um, but yeah, no, it's a fun game, man. Fun game. Fun game. Um, I definitely think it's easy to jump into. I think Rodney did an amazing, like, so Rodney does those watch it played videos, guys. And sometimes they're, it tells you everything. And sometimes it's like you start playing, you're like, oh, God, I got to read the rule book to clarify exactly what I'm yep. doing. Um, cause there's so much going on, but with this game, I think he did a really good job. Uh, so props to Rodney at watch it played that he basically covers everything you need to know. I mean, there's some weird intricacies yeah. we ran into in terms of like, wait, can I defend damage on the defense? Sure. Yeah. We were thinking too deep into it. Um, yeah. but I would recommend watching that and it tells you basically everything you need to know in like five minutes. Like, yeah. um, what we did here was almost like a, a lengthened out version of that of us actually playing through it, um, v via their tabletop sim mod so i dig it i think it's fun i think we should give it one more go lyle um, yeah i think so too but first we got to spin the wheel we got to spin the wheel some people okay we got we got two wheel spins for ocs we have one wheel spin for rel and one wheel spin for volps okay so let's spin them for ocs vector we got to do this yeah. thing we got to ocs so we appreciate this number guys. one yeah so check it out how expensive okay so speaking of expense i at the beginning of the stream we were saying that if you look up season one phil it's not even in print. It's like 150 bucks. Oh, if you can find it, it's out of stock everywhere. But if you can buy it at a store, I was seeing it listed on Amazon for 150 from third party resellers. That comes with. Yeah, you can you can pre-order it. Six. Now. It comes with these six. This is a season one image. So yeah. you get these but, six characters in the season yeah. one if you can get it. 
Yeah, but what we're saying is you can also buy just um, a smaller pack with just which just has two characters in them. Yeah, and they're like twenty five to thirty bucks for two characters each. Those are on Amazon yeah. right now, and they're like twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if you give it, oh, one of our locals has it. Yeah, definitely. It's nice, definitely. Nice, but uh, season two, like they're coming out with new versions. They're re-rolling season one. So they found that they know people want this. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, I've already got a bean here. This is from OCS1. Oh, it's yep. popcorn or um, bad stuff. All right. Should we, should we, yeah. should, while you do that, should we spin the uh, the wheel again for OCS? Of course we should, man. Yeah, All real, right. man. Um, dude, I'm getting lucky, dude. This is butter popcorn. <laughs> got him. Oh, I owe two dad jokes, too. I've yeah. got them. I know them. I've got them right here. Bob, that's on the <laughs> beat. Dude, okay, it's already waiting for me. Yep, and it's dog food or uh, chocolate goodness, uh, yep. courtesy of OCS One Spectre. Thank you for those step behind your velvet rope, sir. Uh, thank you for the epic sub. Yeah, we appreciate yeah, you're all looking that good. support. Looking good, OCS. Yeah, and even though he wants us to play TTR, jump yep. on the bandwagon. <laughs> <laughs> and let's let's spin the wheel for Rel. Mm, spin the wheel for Rel, yeah, man. Thanks so much, Rel. Yep, appreciate it, man. And yeah, I'm getting so. Speaking of Rel. We were talking in uh, the Discord about the battle mode now that they have in Pokemon Go. I haven't done it yet. What is with this wheel, man? Wow, dude. It's because, it, you, listen, use up all your luck and dice thrown. Oh, <laughs> now they're all just mixing into gross taste. All right, so courtesy of Reld, we got to add one more to my, my mouth. Yep, and then while you do that, we're going to spin the, the last <sighs> wheel for Volps. Oh, okay, for Vol Volps, thank you so much, Volps. Yep. Um, but I was saying the battle mode... Oh my gosh, man, people are, like like Reld said, people are obsessed with Pokemon Go, and they're obsessed with battling PvP. I can't I can't win anymore. I mean, I'm level 10. Oh, 10 burp. I'm getting wrecked today. You're getting wrecked, yeah, from this wheel. <coughs> That's 65. You're up to 65 now. This hurts my throat. My throat's already shredded, now I'm putting sugar galore in here. What's this? Yeah. Peach or barf again? Peach or barf. Or Great. maybe dead fish. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to tell between those. Um... Oh, it's dead fish. Dang it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang, I got a bad one. Woo, it's stinky. <laughs> That's like four beans today. That's a lot of beans, dude. Mr. Ecos, I got to make up for you being out a week. Dude, I was gone like three weeks. <laughs> yeah, you were gone for a really long time. I ate a lot of beans. <laughs> oh. Um, ouch. This was icky. This was icky. Um, so thank you so much for all that support, guys. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Um, so we're going to play another game of this. Uh, ask us any questions. Let us know what you think of it. Um, and uh, check it out on uh, the, the Tabletop Sim mod. It's free. I'm going to put the link again here. It'll be in the YouTube video as well, um, linking you to the Tabletop Sim mod. And it is an official mod. So uh, if, if, if you're wondering if it's going to have accurate stuff, it does. There are things, I guess, we read that are, are missing. Um, so it's not 100% like the physical game. The dice don't look as good and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but they look close enough if you want to try out the game before you try yeah. to dig up a copy of it. I mean, my only thing is, like, I don't know. I, I guess 20 bucks for a two-player battle... Like, if, if we bought a box and it was just Gunslinger versus, you know, whatever we just played here, yeah. um, versus Moon Elf, um, I mean, okay. I mean, we, I would I play mean, you I again. I mean, hey, would you, would you spend 20 bucks on a, on a Keyforge starter set? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's, it's the same thing. It's the exact same thing. <laughs> it's that. It's, it's the same thing battle. Funko's doing. It's, yeah, it's doing. That's exact. You're right. It's the Keyforge starter. It's the Funko verse uh, a thing. Uh, it's it's this. It's a quick game night for twenty bucks, and you get some really cool components. And what's neat is it can stack up into a bunch of other. You can get more, right? Which then yeah. you're just doubling up your. Yeah. And if your friend has two different characters, you bring right. your characters over there, and now you can do a little, you know. Yeah. 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 No, you're right. You're right. You're right. No, that's cool. I like. I like. I see what they're doing. I see what they're doing. I see. I see the business. I see the business. You know. Yeah. I'm seeing some business happening here. Yeah, what up, Jack's business. ghost? What up, Jack's ghost? Good to see you, bud. Good to see you. Thanks for coming back through. What's going on? You got the dab ghost. <laughs> nice. Did they announce when they expect to hit retail again? I don't know, Bill. Um, maybe some good people could do some footwork. Uh, I will bounce over here to the gameplay screen, um, and show again that in the mod they have an advertisement for this re-rolled. Um, now, once again, this isn't like a sponsored stream or anything, so we weren't given any yeah. like information about what's coming or doing anything like that. Uh, people in chat were saying this is the, you know, whoa! Uh, cool. we have season one rerolled right here. Uh, it'll include this new cooperative solo campaign inspired by Diablo with exploration, gold, treasure. Whoa, I keep hitting the wrong button. Um, minions, epic boss battles, and then you can pre-order now right here. DTA pre-order dot com. So I don't know if it's going to come with a giant battle box for like, you know, 60 bucks or more or 100 bucks uh i don't know i so check it out i mean i guess someone could go to this link and see what's going on 
uh, when that pre-order is coming out. But um, like when this mod was posted was 2017. So this mod's three years old. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff out. It's been out a while. Yeah. Well, yeah, on the you can get Dice Stone season regular season one for 45 bucks on the Roxley site. Oh, um, is it a pre-order or just buy it? Just buy it. Oh, there you go. Uh, Dice Stone season two is what? I don't really know. Yeah. Buy uh-huh. season two. Buy it now. It was on Kickstarter. Mm-hmm. Season pass with battle chest. 89 bucks. But when is that delivering? And yeah, and each each one of the two character ones are all 25 bucks. 25 bucks through Roxley. Yeah. I think they're yeah. anywhere from 18 to 25 bucks on Amazon. Interesting. That I saw quickly. So there you go. There's some information on the game. Um, so Lyle, game number two. Game number, game number two. two, dude. Game number two. I think I'm gonna stash. I'm gonna stash away those burpees, guys, because uh, I'm still dying, and it would be savage. I might get ten in here by the end of the day, but I want to get one more game in before we have to go, and then we'll do some crit fit action. Yeah. Um, here's the six. Once again, guys. Again, information we're kind of limited on. Uh, I know four of these are from season one, and one do of them we, from season two, which I think is Shadow. Do Thief. you want to hit random, dude? Are we at that stage, uh, dude? Didn't you say Shadow Thief is like the hardest thing in the world? It's a complexity five, but I mean, <laughs> okay, we could do random, dude. So yeah. I'll go random first. I'll hit random okay. first. Crap! <laughs> of course I get shadow <laughs> thief. Oh come on! <laughs> you get moon elf. <laughs> this is just our luck, dude. That's of course. Of course, this is exactly what would happen. You would get. Ex- this is just like smash up. You get exactly like what you got up. before. Yeah, I'm just going to play Pirates all day. Okay. Well, I think we should... No. We're not doing this. Let's, okay. Well, I mean, I would have rolled it if you didn't get Moon Elf. I would have done it. All right. So I'm just going to okay. load back up our edit here. Um, <laughs> that's nuts. No. no way. Not happening. Not not like not okay. like this. Okay. okay. I'm going to hit random again. Yep. Blam. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow of the first... Okay. No, 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 no. We'll reload Reset. this one more time. Reset. <laughs> maybe, so we should just, maybe we should just roll a six-sided dice. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to hit random one more time. I'll keep yeah. Shadow Thief if, one, if we're not both Shadow Thief. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we can just do this. We can just do this. I'll rock Gunslinger <laughs> again because I won with Gunslinger. So because yeah. because I'm not going to keep reloading this thing over and over again. Yeah, yeah. I will roll Gunslinger again because winner winner moves on. How about yeah, that? Yeah. You got to beat the Gunslinger. Sorry, we're dropping frames, yeah, guys. No, yeah, because combat. if you got anything else besides the Shadow Thief and I got the and I got the Moon Elf, we would have just played that. Um, so this is fine. Yeah. yeah. So this this is our life now. Okay. Okay. I, I got I got to do some reading. <laughs> okay, Lot's gonna do some reading. He, so we're bringing in this new. So yeah, we'll introduce one thing. We're getting some screen tearing too. I don't know what's going on here. Um, bringing in the Shadow Thief or the Pyromancer. So you've got knocked down with her. I get knocked down too, dude. Burn. Oh great! So now we got some Pokemon burn effects. You always get burned. Yeah. Um, cool off during their upkeep phase. What does that See, even mean? Remove one token per turn. A player with this token must cool off. It's a positive effect. Move one fire mat. Does this help you or something? I wonder if fire mastery gives you like a buff. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. See, so, so I'm going to try something here. This might mess up the game, but we can always reload. So actually, I'm going to do this. This is tabletop sim action here. Paste this here. Can I flip this? Oh, good. Oh, the leaflet. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Frequently asked questions. What is fire mastery, Lyle? Fire Mastery is a special status effect that augments the Pyromancer's abilities. The flames are always cooling, and it's up to Pyromancer to keep things hot, baby. So what does that mean? (laughs) So what does that mean? Which which means I just have cards that say probably, like, do, like, you know, 2x damage for every Fire Mastery token you have. Or, you know what I mean? Something like that. So you build up fire. I build up fire, dude. Okay. Oh, and this is a three complexity. I see the complexity is okay. over there. So this is the backside of the character cards, guys. Some of them in this mod, I've, I've heard some people's are there. Some people's aren't. Dude, look at this stun. The stun status effects I have over here. Uh, a, a player afflicted with this token may take no actions of any kind, dude. Scrambler Storm. Oh, stun. After the attack concludes, the player who inflicted stun removes a token and immediately targets the same point with an additional 
with an additional offensive roll phase, dude. Oh, this is like a ultimate, man. That's great. After the attack concludes, the player who inflicted stun removes the token. Oh my gosh. And then I attack you again. Wow, dude. so it looks like you're building up fire, you're burning stuff. Then we got the Pyromancer board here, guys, since we're checking it out. Burninating the countryside, so you, dude. Again, you don't have a passive ability. What? Just a defensive ability on your One far right upkeep, there. upkeep, man. You gain a fire mastery, though, every defensive thing, though. Gain it. Oh, I see. So if I get attacked. If you get a fire dice. I get fired up. And deal one undefinable damage for every fire damage. Okay. Interesting. Oh, okay. All right. Interesting. Shall, shall we roll to see who goes first? Roll to see who goes first. Okay. Ooh. Crit. <laughs> that was a roll. That was a, dude. I yeah, that was a roll, dude. <laughs> okay, I can't. Was that it. a roll? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The gravity. So the gra so you can set gravity in this, and the gravity on this mod is really heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it, like doesn't let you roll anything really. Yeah. For a, a dice rolling game, it's not very rolly. So you're going first. We we we, uh, we both have four cards in our hands. We both have fifty health, and we both have two combat points. Okay. That's right. I gotta draw my four. I'm first again, so I don't get an income phase. No, you skip the income uh, phase. And, and this apparently doesn't have anything to do in the upkeep either. So it's my main phase. Let's see what I want to do. Oh, and I've got um, my two. Do I have my two CP? Yes, I do. Okay. Two CP. Okay. Interesting. interesting. Oh, I can do this. I can do these whenever I want, right? Okay, so I'm actually going to play some cards, dude. Uh, if you don't mind. What you can only play, you can only play uh, exclamation points on yeah, my turn, dude. That's what I mean. Okay. So I'm gonna play getting paid, which gives me two CP. Okay. Um, I'm then gonna play double up to lose a CP and draw two cards. Because <laughs> I'm hoping to get some stuff here. Big BS, dude. Uh, okay. What does this cost? Oh, we've got some new cards here. What? Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing all kinds of new cards here. This is cool. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Um, so it's my main phase. You're looking at Chris's hand. Yeah, this is my hand. Sorry, Bill. I know it's a little confusing. We can't see Lyle's hand. These are all my cards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But these cards uh, are pretty I'm awesome. Gonna, I'm going to spend uh, one. I'm going to spend one uh, CP, and I'm going to I'm going to draw two cards. Oh, you got to double up, huh? Looks like a, a up, common. Yeah, double up. A common, as the kids want. They want all the rares and the foils. Yeah. Looks like we got a, a common. Look at all this stuff you can do. Your board looks um, nuts combustion oh some of these don't proc unless you have like a bunch of fire i see yeah and every turn i'm going off. to interesting none of these you get during your upkeep phase a player with this token must cool off during their so you move during upkeep that's the only thing okay yeah i'm gonna play uh this card called infernal infusion i'm gonna roll a dice on a uh on a meteor i gain <laughs> fire i gain max fire mastery which is on five. any other outcome i draw one card Wow, so you have five stack lit on your fire mask. Yeah. So you got a fire. Right, so I draw a card. <laughs> That's okay. a free card. That's a cycle. And a cycle. what else am I going to do? Oh, yeah, I can discard some cards too. I can play main phase actions on his main phase, right? I can do that on you, right? I believe I can. What? I can play my what? main phase cards on your main phase because we're in the main phase. No, I don't think so. I think I can. Just like I could play during the roll phase, I could do stuff. So I, so you can just play cards whenever you want, all the time? I have to be in the phase. <laughs> I have to be in the phase, I believe. I, I think. I don't know. That doesn't seem I right. I don't know if the main phase works that way. Like, I can't upgrade stuff and whatnot, can I? No. Uh, it's like, it's like, why? It's like upgrade stuff on your turn. I was like, that seems silly. I just think it's weird I can do roll phase. And what's, stuff. The, what's the point of the. Yeah, I don't know. That seems wrong. Okay, I, I, wrong. I need to figure out what I want to do here. I want to. It's probably wrong. Um, pyromancer. Yeah. What is, what is going on here? Come at me, pyromancer. I'm trying. I'm, yeah, I'm thinking of one of two things here. He's coming. Uh, He's thinking. He's doing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to look up like news. On... Yeah. Okay, we're gonna spend another CP, uh, and we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna upgrade our defense. Oh, Molten level armor up. two. Okay. Dang. 
Yep, yep, yep. Oh, you yep. inflict burn. You can burn me, dude. Yeah, burn you. Don't burn me now. Yep. Don't burn me now. Burn and then me. I'm just going to toss this card to get a CP. Fire up. All right, now we're going to go offensive. This increases your stack limit by one. That's an upgrade, you know. Boom. Your call. Okay. Wait, what was that? This is an upgrade. No, it's not an upgrade. It upgrades your stack limit. Cause it upgrades sta my stack, but I'd rather get the CP. Your stack limit's five. You could make it six with this, apparently. I could. Yeah, but it cost me three CP to All do right. that. <laughs> upgrade your indecision. Right, so I got <laughs> three flames. Um, Three flames. What is this called? A blaze and a fiery soul. This is called a blaze? Oh, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's over here, right? Yeah. yeah. And a fiery um, soul. So <laughs> one, three, four, five. One, three, four, okay. five. One, three, four, five. So I could pull this choices. and get a large straight. Um, I have pot. No, I don't have pyroblast. I do have this thing, don't I? No, I don't have. Uh, you don't have one of each. You don't. I have don't have a crit. You didn't roll a crit. No, I didn't roll a crit. And you need five. So... I think you need four mastery here to really fire off combustion. You have no fire mastery right now. Oh, okay. Activate. Remove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you have to look. Pyroblast is really like your hot streak does Deal stuff. six damage and roll one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, like you yeah. need to build fire mastery to really get. Okay. Or I'm going to keep the three uh, three flames here. We're going uh, to uh, roll these two. Okay. See if we can, okay. See if we can get a pyroblast. Three roll time. Two crits. Oh, two crits. It's a full house. Is it pay? Not really. Uh, full house does not pay, but I did get the pyroblast. Uh, is there anything else I could do? I get pyroblast. And, and I have a fallback this. fireball. So I have a fireblast and a fireball. Fireball. Um, I think we're going to just, since we have one roll left, we're just going to roll this just in case you do something to me and I can do something. Okay. So we're going to do pyroblast on you. What a roll. <laughs> yeah, what a roll, dude. Okay, pyroblast. We're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna attack you with pyroblast. So you got to roll a thing, deal six damage, and roll a dice. Yeah, deal six damage, roll a dice. To see what else happens. We rolled a fire flame. On a flame, add three damage. So nine damage, nine defendable damage. Nine defendable damage to you. Nine yes, defendable sir. damage to me. All right, let's see what we can do over here. Um. Uh. uh Nine defendable damage. What's this do here? Let's check my stuff. Um, nine defendable damage. All right, I'm gonna pay a buck. Okay. Um, so I can play not this time. Present six damage, so it goes down to three. Yep. So three defendable damage. So I defended two. I blocked two, six. Yep. All right, and now I'm going to do my duel. Okay. So we both roll, roll a dice. Yep. Got a one. Got a four? Of course. So I just do a damage to you. And so you take three, I take one? I take three, you take one. All right. Take three, I take one. Well, okay. Yeah, a little bit of a weak souse going on, but all right. Yep, yep, yep. And that's, uh, that's your turn. All right, you're not going to discard anything, main phase anything? Uh, No. No, I'm going to hold on to my, what I got. All right, so going to the upkeep phase. So I get a revolver. I get a reload on my upkeep because of mm -hmm. pleb quick draw. Um, I then get a buck. I draw a card. Shwing. Ooh. Okay. Um, let's see. I've got three CP. Ah, uh, what do I want to do, though? Um, uh, do I have to do that now? I think I do. Um, do I do that? So, mm, I don't know. Mm, you know. You know what I mean? Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to sell dual two for a buck. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play Wanted for two bucks, which puts oh, a yeah, bounty on you. I'm plinking the bounty. Oh, damn, dude. So here's okay. a bounty token. Throw that on your yep. on you there. Yep. So you got bountied. Um, that leaves me with two. Damn, um, dude. Do I want to do this? Um, bounty, dude. Okay, so I'm going to go offensive roll phase. Onward. Let's see what we can get here, boys. Pop, 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 pop. Ooh. Full house. All right. All right. Um, wrong full house. Doesn't wrong pay. full house. Uh, one, two, one, three, two four. three, four. Ooh, showdown. 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 Um, one, two, three, four. Let's see. I already bountied you. 
Hmm. I don't know if that's good enough, dude. Deal seven. It, uh, Omni, it is It is a uh, stream trait. Our indecision. <laughs> <laughs> what, he changed his name? No, no, he said, uh, haven't caught a stream of yours live. Uh, the indecision oh, thing yeah. stuck with me from watching us play uh, Ascension. <laughs> Oh, geez. That was a funny odd <laughs> quirk. <laughs> yeah. We have so many problems making decisions. I thought you were referencing a, a user indecision. We, we, yeah, there's a, there's a member of a camp. Um, his screen name is indecision. I'm going to go. I'm going to flip this again, dude. Yep. Or, do I want to flip this again? I already did one bounty on you. This is pretty good. This is a small straight. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. <sighs> okay, so... If I get the large straight, what's the difference? Large straight gives me fan the hammer, gain two evasive and deal. Oh, that's pretty good. So I'm going to keep this two, three, four. I'm going to fire these off. Ah, okay. So two, three, four, five. Yeah, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then I'm going to pay a buck, Lyle. Yep. I'm going to play a buck, pay it and call. I'm going to play six it. So I'm going to change Here's this the value to a six. Of one of your dice is six. Shrink. Oh, that was good. Two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to go fan the hammer. So I got that large straight, yep. um, and then I'm going to go with that. So you're going to do two evasive, deal seven defendable damage. Plus I'm going to fire off my reload. Yeah. Crap. Okay, One. so eight. You're doing eight damage to me. Eight defendable damage to you. Eight defendable damage. Plus I bountied you, so it's nine, and I get a buck. Yeah, nine defendable damage. Okay. Nine defendable damage. Um, what you got to do? One CP, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> 9 CP. Fan that hammer, says Cobalt. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It's hammer time. It was hammer time. All right. So we are going a Molten Armor defense roll right here. Molten Armor. Okay. Five dice. I can't defend this. All I can do is, like, injure you back. Oh, really? That's what it is. All right. So I'm going to inflict a burn on you. I'm going to give you burn notice. How do you do that? Um, no, you don't. You gain, you gain one fire mastery for every one of the soul fires or something right so i get two fire mastery right from these yeah and then keep reading oh you upgraded it sorry i was yeah. not looking at the upgrade on uh on these two i give you a burn you burn me i get burned uh, on. and then um and then i guess i have one left over so then i do a damage to you so i deal damage and i get burned on so i get two fire mastery um you get burned and then I do one damage to you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you burn me, dude. Yeah, but then you actually do how much damage to me? It was seven uh, plus eight plus... So you do nine damage to me, right? Do nine damage, dude. Blam! Okay. Uh, I can't evade Ooh. this. So the way burn Got works is at the beginning of my turn, I think I just take two damage. It's dealt two damage during the upkeep phase. Okay. Yep. And it stays. And it, it can't stays, stack. dude. Okay, so I'm just constantly taking two damage. You basically burned yeah. me Pokemon stuff. Oh, I got, yeah, I got, I got a dot on you, dude. Yeah, you Pokemon me, dude. Pokemon. Pokemon. Okay. So it's your turn, dude. Uh, upkeep. I don't think anything happens to me, right? Nope. Okay. So uh, I get, well, uh, actually, I think you lose a Fire Mastery. Player of this token must cool off their, oh, during right, their right, upkeep. Oh, right, right, right. So I lose a Fire Mastery. Yeah, yep. you lose one Fire Mastery. And then okay. a player... And I get a CP, and I draw a card. Yeah. You're not burned. I wonder if I can burn you. All right. Um, <laughs> Would it make more sense if people just threw guns at people? <laughs> yeah. I do have a pistol whip ability, so kind of. I can kind of do that. But yeah, ooh, that would be my ooh. main my main weapon is just whip pistols at people. Or basically, well, I sling them. So I just, I just put them on my waist <laughs> over and over again th that intimidates you with my slinging skills. <laughs> I think we're going to... Let me see this. Wow. Okay, Lyle's digging through okay. his cards. He's got some cards. Okay. He's got cards. Okay. I got some. I got some. I got some cards. Um, Come at me, dude. I'm the champion of the gun. You're the champion of the gun. Do I want to do this? Yeah. According I to your lore, what we're gonna do is world spend world. our our stuff and we're gonna upgrade ignite whoa oh blazing soul. So now we have blazing soul dude you're the blazing um, soul increase fire mastery stack by one and then gain five fire mastery and then i inflict knockdown you really just want knockdown dude you mad I, yeah no it was it's really it's really good <laughs> you just really let's want be, let's be let's be very honest about about knockdown 
Uh, and I think we're going to do offensive roll phase. Okay, let's see if you can get it, dude. Whoa. Right, so we got a lot of flames and a meteor. Yeah, so you're at uh, fire, fire, fire. So we have pyroblast again. We do have pyroblast um, again. Which was pretty good, actually. Yeah. But my burn stack is already on there, so... What? What do you mean? Uh, I can only have one. one oh, if you get burned, burn, right. Yeah. I'm already yeah. burned, man. I'm already burned, man. I'm on fire. Um, I'm on fire. Six damage and roll thing. Do I want to do anything else? What do I have? I have one, two, three. You have two more rerolls. One, two, two, three, six. One, two, two, three, six. I mean, if you're not going to roll, go for this. You know, you could roll one of your flames and... I don't know what would be... Yeah. yeah. What, what is this? Really wanting? One, what two, do I three. really want, though? Oh, I see. You're looking at your straights. Yeah, I'm looking at my things. You got to keep rolling, man. You got to come at me, dude. But do I? <laughs> That's what Chawazi's for. Dude, I remember Chawazi years ago when playing board games was using it. It was like, what is this black magic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chawazi. Right. You know what? I'm going to like, I'm going to go, I'm just going to go crazy. Why not? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to re-roll my flames. Come at me, dude. Go. Do it then. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, I still have the pyroblast, yeah, yeah. but now I got this thingy. So you Which almost have cool. combustion, right? Almost. Yeah, but combustion's not so great with one, one fire mastery. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, you need it's you three. Need... It's just three undefendable damage. And you would only gain. You don't have enough because you need four. Yeah. Oh, gain up to four. Oh, so it's three per token lost. Yeah, three per token. So yeah. you would gain so one. Two, three, four. So it's really only three damage at the moment. Three, four. Or I could. Damage. I could roll this thing and try to get a straight, ooh. small straight. Ooh, ooh. hot streak. Gain two mastery. Uh, six, two, three, plus four. one per. Well, I can get a yeah hot streak. Yeah. Three, four. Yeah. So I can yeah if I roll that I can get a one or a five and I can get hot streak. If I get a five I can do ignite. Um. Oh, it's decisions. Dangerous. Yeah. Here we go. This is what Omni's talking about. The indecisions. The crit tank we have. Yeah. Omni despair. Okay. I think I'm just gonna cash in for pyroblast for that right there. He's going to go so, pyro. Uh, I'm going to do six damage, plus I'm going to roll this die and see what else I'm going to do. Okay. Come on, Bernie Circle. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so yeah. Inflicts the burn, which is already there. Yeah, Damn you can't it. stack more than one. All right. All right. So I'm uh, basically just doing six six defendable damage to you. Six defendable damage? Yeah. All right. Six defendable damage being done to me. I'm going to use an evasive token first. Yep. Get a one or a two. No damage. Dang. Okay. I'm going to use an evasion token. Yep. Dang! Nice. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Okay. So now I have to do the duel. Okay. You're going to be dueling each other? So it's, yeah, just roll. And I got a two. What'd you get? I got a one. <coughs> so I beat you. Oh, my gosh. So you beat me. So you can you can choose one or the other. You can either deal three damage back to me or prevent half the damage. So I, I would get it's six total you're doing? So you either take three. Right. So I'm just going to take or three. Or you take six and I take three. I'm going to take three. This is, like, the most value... I've ever gotten out of the duel. So I'm going to take three damage, and that's it. Yep. Okay. So okay. are you done? Um, You're in your main phase here? Yeah, I'm done. So you hit me with three damage. Yep. And he's done. Okay. So I take, during my upkeep phase because of burn, Yeah. take two damage, right? Take two damage, yep. And it stays with me. Um, I then get a revolver, reload thing. Yep. Boop. And then I gain a buck, and I draw a card, and we rock and roll here. Let's see what this is. Uh, huh. Okay, that's a thing. Okay, so we're in the main phase. I think I'm gonna spend two bucks. Okay. I'm gonna upgrade revolver to revolver two. Revolver two. And now let's go to the offensive mode. Revolver. Revolver. No, I was thinking more uh. like. I was thinking more like revolver. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 revolver. Oh, dude, this is a straight up uh, full house. This is a legit full house. <laughs> That's a legit full house. Dang it. Uh, dude, I have anything. options, though. I have the revolver. I could knock you down if I can get another two bullet. You have you have bounty hunter. Um, I do have bounty yeah, hunter. Yeah, man. Are you sure you don't want to just do bounty hunter, man? No, because you're already bounty, dude. I don't need no, that. I don't do, man. Maybe you want to. Or wanna I could go dead eye. I could try for dead eye. I could go for my four crits. Ooh. Whoa. 
No, that's too risky, dude. I gotta go for these bullets, man. I gotta get try to get one more. If I get one more two bullet. I know these two crits are real beautiful right now. Yeah. Okay, I'm keeping the bullets, man. Keeping the bullets. Okay. <sighs> Come on, I know I want a bounty again. Me. Yeah. I know. I wish it would stack. All right, here we go. Two bullets, one time. Oh, are you kidding bullets, me? Oh, yeah, so that's just six damage right now. Yep. That is ridiculous. Yeah, let's see. Okay, I just need one. I just need one two bullet. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm going for it, dude. I need it. I need it. Come on, two bullet, one time. Oh, oh yes. are you kidding me? No way. Yes. <laughs> All right, so that's six yes. damage. Plus, I'm going to toss my reload. Six damage plus... One, seven damage, seven plus one in a bounty, combat, so it's eight. eight total. And I got eight my combat damage. point for the bounty. So it's eight okay. total with the bounty. Eight with the bounty. We're going to do the defensive roll. So eight damage. Uh, we are going to do... What the heck is this? We're going to burn you already. You already burned. Um... And then one so does this count forever. twice, or does this count as a burn first? You go down the card or something? I think you go down the card, and you can only use the dice for one thing. So I don't have any of those burning souls, so I don't get that. Okay. I have to. I think I have to inflict the burn, and I do one damage to you. So we're saying I only take one. You take eight, and I take one? Yeah, I think I take eight, you take one. Okay. Let us know if that's not right, guys. But I think I do remember yeah. saying you go, yeah, you do the card. You do as much of the card as you can. Yeah, I think it's I think it's doing as much of the cards as you can. But yeah. if if we're doing it wrong, I would be at thirty nine, because yeah. we would just use it if you can't use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let us know your opinions, guys. You know, smash that like and that subscribe button on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. and let us know in the comments, or if you're live on Twitter, <laughs> we're yeah. gonna do the streamer thing. Um, okay, so the back to the main phase. Um, I didn't want to do that. Okay, I'm good. So it's over to you. Right, so I lose a fire mastery. Lose a fire. Cool off. I uh, get a CP and draws a card. Draws a card. So what are we at? What's our scores? 32 to 40. 32 to 40, guys. 32, 32 to, 40. to 40. I think... Uh, hmm. I like this fire mastery balance that you cool off. That's cool. Yeah, no, it, it is kind of interesting. Um, Otherwise, I'd be like, dude, <laughs> like, how do I cool you off? But you just lose it over time, which is nice. Yeah. So far, it doesn't feel OP. Okay, we're going to go... Yeah, we're just going to go offensive roll face here. Okay, let's go. That's all. Let's go offense, dude. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Um, That's a full hmm. house. Well, we can go blade. We can go for blazing soul, dude. Huh? What soul? Blazing soul, dude. I see burning soul. You mean burning soul? Down here by ignite two. Oh, oh the upgrade. second half. Oh, yeah. You could. You could go for that. You just really want knockdown, dude. You're so I really want knockdown. On knockdown. It really hurt me. <laughs> You're oh. so triggered by knockdown. I am triggered by knockdown, dude. <laughs> I'm hurt. I fucking hate it. Okay. Knockdown PTSD right now. We're going. We're going for it, dude. Okay. Oh, that's a miss. All what right. Now we got to yeah, rethink our strat. Yeah, what do you even have now? Oh, I guess you have. You uh, almost have combustion, but you don't have any fire mastery, so it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, combustion sucks right now. Yeah. I have one, two, four, four, six. That's not Am I really going to go all. for Pyroblast again? You don't even have it yet. You'd have to get it. You'd have to try for it. Yeah, I'd have to try for it. But these aren't really worth anything. Try for it, Unless you yeah, get these, these two suck. Fiery Souls, which are, your, which are pretty much like crit level. I mean, look, your Blaze, your Fiery Soul, and your Meteor. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. We're going nuts. We're going to keep the Meteor. Oh, he's trying for the meteor play. Oh, what is this? I see I a we got straight. Combustion. I see a straight or a small straight. Oh, small straight. You got uh, a hot streak. Three, four, five, six. Yeah. Three, four, five, six. And you do have combustion, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Wait, three, well, actually, four, five, you could six. do three. Hold on. Hold on. You hold could on. do three undefendable damage with this because you would get the token first. Oh, you get this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But yeah, okay. the hot streak is probably what you want. But yeah, the hot streak is good. Three, four, five, six. Let's see if I have anything in my hand, though. Um, okay. And you get two fire mastery there, too. Yeah, yeah. Hot streak. Gain two fire mastery, then deal five damage plus one damage per fire. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> defendable damage. So we are going to be doing seven uh, defendable damage to you. That's, that's it. 
That's it. Seven defendable damage to me. All right, let's duel. Okay. Right. Oops. I oh, I got a six. I got a three. Okay. So, so you get to choose. I can do half. What do you? How much are you doing to me? Eight. Seven. Seven. So you would do four damage to me. You prevent half rounded up. So. Or I could do three damage to you. Yeah. So I think you would you would take three. Um, or you take seven, and not you do three to me. No, it's rounded up. So it, you're doing how much damage to me? Seven damage? Per, you prevent half damage rounded up. Oh, four. Oh, three damage. Yeah, I'll take the three damage. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, I took the three damage from the fireman. All right, and then my second main phase, I'm going to think about something. You know, oh, he's thinking um, he's in the tank. Ooh. Iron Man's just got another level of, uh, it's a three. It's a little bit, it's a little bit more complicated than the Gunslinger. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to but... toss this card and just get a CP. Ooh, and that sells turn. red hot for a buck. Oh, okay. That's yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, I take two damage. Boop, take boop. two damage. I like this dot. I'm burning, dude. I'm burning. Game. I'm burning up. I got my reload. Yeah. I get a buck. I draw a card. Okay, what's this do? Okay, interesting. What's this do? Right. All right. Yeah, Offensive she, roll phase. She's too, she's too hot to handle, man. I need some big rolls here, guys. I need some big rolls. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Three dashes, bullseye, and a bullet. Almost got. So four, five, six. Yeah. Four, five, four, six. Five, uh, six. One. Take uh, cover. One, four, five, five, six. Mm, I could do some take cover. Almost can do take cover. Almost. That is. Almost. Almost there. Almost did some take cover level strat here. Uh, does five damage. I think I'm going to go for that. I think I'm just going to roll this. Got it. Okay, so I'm going to do take cover. So I gain evasive. Um, actually, hold on. Hold on a sec. Oh, you're going to do a, a thing. I'm going to spend a CP. Okay. What and are you going to play? Say, uh, why don't you re-roll re that, that boy right there? Oh, you played a funny card, huh? Played... Actually, no, no, I'm sorry. Re-roll uh, this card right here. What oh, did you play? Best. What did you play? Oh, helping hand? Helping hand. Ah. Yeah. This uh, this four dash. Four dash here. Yeah. So I have. So you're just making me. Re I still have one more reroll. You know. Oh, this isn't your last one. Well, I said I was gonna go with take cover. Is that what that means? Do I claim that I'm gonna go take cover? But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was my second roll. Yeah, yeah. It's like you 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 claimed that you were gonna do something. To so you end your rolling phase, and then I did this. Okay. So this. So I can't. I couldn't reroll again. Yeah. 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 I believe that's how that works. You guys let us know in chat. Ooh, so you block it. I blocked it. Okay, interesting. Okay. Oh, if that's how that works. Savage. Okay, so I've got a weird full house here. Uh, ones. Ooh. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so I guess I'll just be doing four damage. Okay. Um, I'll be doing four damage, plus I'll throw this reload in. Um, four damage, plus... Plus one more. One damage, so five damage. Five plus the bounty, so six damage. Um, I'm going to play... Can I play this now, even though I already did it? Like, can I re-roll that now? Or did I have to do that before I did the reload? I think you can do this now. So I can re-roll oh, When it. you spend a re-roll... Yeah, I think you can do this now. Like spend I can a spend buck a buck and do this. Yeah, and then yeah. So I want to re-roll that. Yeah. So okay, it's so it's another two. So I'm, I'm taking seven damage overall. So it's four plus two plus one because of Wild West. If you do add an additional one damage to the outcome. Oh, I didn't add that from Wild West. So seven so I'm and eight damage. Eight damage because of the bounty, right? And yeah. I get a buck. Yep. So eight defendable. Eight defendable damage. There we go. We got there. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna roll <laughs> Jeez, my defensive my head's roll. Like, Ugh, eight defendable damage. Yeah. Doing the math. Doing the maths. Okay. Um, we're gonna burn notice you again, and then do three damage to you. So I'm gonna take eight, and then you take three. Eight and three. Okay. okay. Blam. So I'm down to twenty-four. I'm at thirty-two. Man, the burn notice stuff. So main phase again, huh? Yeah. Um. Okay. I'm gonna chill. All Your right. Turn. Uh, upkeep, I lose a fire master. Cool off, man. Pssh. Cool off, dude. Uh, I get a CP and I draw a card. She's too hot to handle. That's right. 
Ooh. Interesting. It's definitely a bit more of a battle here. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to go into the roll phase. Let's see. But I need to start hurting you more. You're a quick burn, Lyle. Quick burn. Uh, we got a lot six. of stuff here. What does Burning Soul do? Gain two Fire Mastery, deal one per thing. All the points in AoE. I don't like this. <laughs> I think we're going to reroll the whole damn thing. Yeah, it's like an AoE attack. Yeah. Which is cool if we're playing multiple people. Uh, hmm. Two, three, four, five. Two, yeah, I was going to say two, three, four, five. We do have a hot streak here. Two, three, four, five. And then I think we're going to roll that no, one. No, we can only ever see. do one at a time, Bill. Only one per turn. Yeah. He was asking, can you take two abilities if you have the dice? No. So two, three, four, five. I think we're going to go for the... Uh, hot streak? Well, if I roll this, I can... I have an open-ended large straight, so ooh, 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 ooh. I can gain two fire mastery. Uh, he already burned, and then deal four damage plus two for every fire mastery. So I mean that's kind of good. So my and my last roll, we're gonna try to get this. Does he get it? No. Okay, no. So, so we, we saw the fire man. Yeah, we saw the streak. hot streak. So you'll gain two. Um, you know what? Plus three. So you're doing eight damage there. Evasive. damage. I just want to see what this is. Because um, I, I have... I might have something I can do. I just... Uh. Are you going to do a thing? Hmm. Do I want to do a thing? Mm hmm. Hmm. Or are you going to just take the hot streak, man? Are you going to just take the hot streak? Hot streak! Yeah, I'm going to take the hot streak, dude. Um... I'm going to gain two fire mastery. You're going to hot streak? Well, I'm going to do something here. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you're going to do if you're going to take it, I'm going to spend a buck and I'm going to play my helping hand card. And I'll choose Which two dice for you to reroll. I will say you have to reroll this one. This one, right? This this three right here. And this one. This could be bad news for me, but it's, it's like one of your opponent's dice to force reroll. Is it one? Yeah, it's just one, dude. Oh, uh eh. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Okay, so I have to re-roll this. Is that the one? All right. Cool. <laughs> Cheats. All right, so I still, it still goes off then. Cheats. So I gain two fire mastery, then I deal. So five plus one per, so eight. I have three. So I'm going to do eight defendable damage to you. Okay, let's go to the duel. Yep. Duel me, bro. Duel. One. Two. Two. <laughs> I never roll well, I just this take, I just take a hit. So you take a hit, and I take... Eight. Eight. Dude, savage, man. Dude, we got a game right now. That's some crap, is what that is. Yeah. I never... Dude, I never roll good on my duel. <laughs> All right. I gotta go um, I gotta go my big. main phase is not going to do anything. It's your, you're up. All right, I'm up. All right, I, do, I lose two health. I'm getting wrecked by this. Yep. Gain my thing, gain a buck, draw a card... Right, this is the card, man. This is the one. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Oh. Oh, dang. I don't really like that, but... Dang, right. dogs, dang. I'm going to do this um, in the main phase, right? So I'm going to spend a buck yep. to play roulette. Let's play some roulette, Lyle. Oh, what is this? A Choose gambling? Player, roll a gambling? dice. I'm going to roll this dice. Choose and a player and roll happens. one on a bullet deal two undefendable damage. Oh. I need a, I need a dashy thing. I need a dashy thing. Bounty, bounty, bounty. Credit, credit. Oh, yes. <laughs> the worst crit I could get, dude. Yes. Dude, I can't believe I got a crit that moment. Yes. Lame. All right, offensive phase. Okay, that was awesome. So lame. Bullets. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, you did get yeah. it. One, two, three, four. Yep. Um, one, two, three, four. Uh, is my showdown. I could go for a five, um, which I'm going to go for. Dang. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey, what is that? Large uh, streak. Two evasive, seven damage. Okay. Two evasive. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then I'm just going to fire I'm going this to. Off. I'm going to do something, though. 
<sighs> I was gonna fire off my re my revolver. Yeah, I am going Before to. Uh... <coughs> yeah, I'm going to. What are you gonna do? Use uh, both my CP. Uh huh. Um, to uh, play uh, so wild, so change the value wild. of anyone die, mm. and I'm gonna change. Um... You just change the value. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna change your three. Oh, I don't want to do that. I'm gonna change your four. No. <laughs> I don't want to change this to. No, oh, he's just gonna change things. Oh no! I'm not sure he wants to do this. I want to look at your thing here. This kind of feels weird, but I'm actually gonna change this to a six. Hmm. So you can't do anything. I can't do anything. Yeah. That's mean, dude. Yeah, dude. That's it. That's a mean, mean thing to yeah, do, dude. man. Oh, that's bad. What a jerk thing to do. Yeah. That was a jerk move, dude. I had an awesome roll. Wow. All right. So I guess I hang on to my uh, revolver then because I'm not doing any damage. Yeah, baby. That was some uh, Garbo. All right. It's your All turn, right. dude. All right. I'm going to lose a fire mastery. I'm going to get a buck. Garbo turn, dude. Next card. level play. Garbo right. turn. This guy gets cards and he thinks he can just start playing. What's what are we at? We're at twenty-two to twenty-three. Twenty-two yeah. twenty-three. Dude, you're lucky little guy. <laughs> I can't believe I rolled right. a crit. That meant nothing. And then I yep. got a straight, and then you hurt me. I have a good turn and you take it away from me. Yeah, dude. That's right. No All skills, right. Gonna, baby plays. We're going offensive roll. Baby plays is what just happened there. I huge, roll. huge baby play. Okay. One, two. One one two five six, baby one, two, baby six. baby plays. Uh, um, baby plays. All right, we're gonna keep the uh, we're gonna keep the meteor, dude, and then uh, we're gonna roll these four. Baby plays. Oh yeah 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 yeah. A full house that means nothing. Full house, no pay. One one two six six. House pays zero to one. <laughs> I think we're gonna go. House pays zero to one on full house. We're gonna go for it, dude. He goes for Want it. it. Oh, oh, full house. House pays zero to one. Full house. Full house. You're gonna um, so we get we damage. get the pyroblast. Um, oh yeah. We get the pyroblast. Is there anything else we can do? One, two, three. No, oh, no. One, two, three, six, six. Yeah, pyroblast is probably your best option. Yeah, pyroblast. It's gonna be pyroblast. We're gonna roll. Uh, we're gonna roll a dice and see what else we do. Oh, whoops. Are you going to roll a million dice? Oh, okay. Hold on. Just roll this one dice. <laughs> Four. Uh, inflict a burn. Already got it. <laughs> yes, he missed me. Something good happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I deal, I deal six defendable damage to you. Six defendable damage, which means I'll duel you. Duel. Four. Five. Oh, come on. Okay, so you do one damage to me, right? Yeah. And I do five to you. Five? Oh, six. 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 I'm at 16. I'm at 22. And now I have to choose if Dang. I want to do something in my next main phase. Dang. Uh, my next phase, I'm actually going to do something, I think. What are you going to do? Uh, what are you going to do? You've got a buck. Got a buck. This is garbage. I'm going to make you pay. All right. I'm actually going to uh, toss this, I know, for a buck, and then cash out um, to play... Upgrade meteorite. Right. All right. I should have played this, and I would have had it, dude. Oh. Oh, with yeah. three for knockdown. I, I would. Add. I only had two, right? And yeah. inflict knockdown, burn, and stun. Dang. I had two. All right. I wouldn't have gotten. It. Okay, don't matter. Your turn. Do I get to play now? Sweet. All right. So I think my reload. Oh, I get a reload stack there. But oh, I take you burn, two dude. A burn. And you reload stacks. Yeah. I get two of those bad boys. Yeah. Um, I get a buck draw a card um okay let's go offensive roll phase here we go no more baby plays coming from you hope oh uh, one one two two five 
what do I need over here? One, two, three, four. And in revolver two, it's four of any number, right? Four of any number, yeah. Four of a kind of number. Okay, I'm gonna keep these. I'm gonna go. Oh. Oh my. I'm gonna throw this one more time. Two. Ah. Ugh. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play twice as wild, three bucks. Oh. Uh. Change these to twos, which means I'm doing six damage and you get knocked down. Boom! Okay. But Damn, I'm not done dude. yet. So I'm doing revolver two, so yeah. Six damage yeah. right now, and I'm gonna inflict knockdown. Okay, so I get knocked down. I'm then gonna fire off a reload. Okay. So I'm currently at six damage. That's one. So right. Seven. Seven damage. I'm yeah. gonna do this again. Yeah. Ooh. 10 damage. So it's 10 damage plus the bounty is 11. 11 plus a buck. So it's 11 damage. Okay. 11 defendable damage and you got knocked down. Yeah. 11 defendable damage. That yeah. was pretty big. Come at that me, dude. That was pretty big. Finally. Okay. 11 damage, knocked down. Um, we are going to gain a fire mastery. We are going to not inflict a burn and then we're going to do two damage to you. So I'm gonna take eleven, and you're gonna take two. Damn, dude! Yes, blam! <laughs> wow, dude! Eleven? Is it eleven? Eleven? No, eleven, twelve. Eleven to twelve, yeah, guys. You're up, dude. Wow. Oh. Oh, dude. What a turn, dude. That was dude. huge. Wow, swing. Got a game over here. Got a game got, over we here. We got a game, dude. We got a game. All right, so that's it for me, man. It's over to you, and you've got uh, you're knocked down, and you're cool. I'm knocked all. down. I lose a fire mastery. I gain a combat power and I gain a card. Wait, did I? Did I? Yeah, I got my point. Ooh, we got a game, dude. So you have to spin two to even get rid of this knockdown, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Spin two before your offensive roll plays. Otherwise, yeah, you skip right. it. Oh. Might as well skip that offensive roll plays, dude. You know what I mean? Uh. I might just want right. to skip we it. Are, uh, we are going to uh, ah. throw away this card to get a CP so we can cash it in to get rid of this knockdown. Ah. We have to, dude. Ah. <laughs> we have to. I and need to do gonna evasive go. maneuvers. That's I, what I, I needed. Need the, I need the best roll of my life ah, right now, I need now, an dude. evasion. Okay. We get meteors. We get meteors. I kind of got combustion, right? Uh, no, I don't have combustion yet. I need a burning soul for that. Um mm -hmm. But we do have, what do we it's have? Be troublesome. We have one, four, four, six, six. We are almost at meteoroid. Uh, knockdown, burn, stun. Okay, we're gonna, we're, we're, uh, we're keeping the, uh, we're keeping the crits. Okay, he's going for it. <laughs> no! All right, so we got, we got meteoroid. And uh, I think we're gonna roll some more. Last one. Oh, oh my god, is dude. That, that's cracked ice. That's cracked ice. No, oh, <laughs> <laughs> He gets the big crit. Oh. oh my god. I'm about to scorch the earth, dude. <laughs> scorched earth, dude. We're about to dude scorched back. earth. Oh, dude. I'm about to smash pumpkins up in here. Get it, dude, scorched that's a big earth. crit, dude. Big crits. That was an impressive roll, Lyle. Wow. Yeah. Ultimate yeah. comeback. Yeah. All right. So um, I scorched this earth, Lyle. All right, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to take three fire mastery. Yeah, you're at your max now. Yep. Yep. Oh no, you have a plus one. No, you don't. Not yet. No, no, no. Three fire mastery. I inflict a knockdown. Yeah. I'm already burned. Yep. And burn. I deal twelve <laughs> unavoidable, undefendable damage. No. And then ideally, I do two damage AOE to all other opponents. No, don't worry. I can evade. Oh, no, I can't because I don't have any evade. Oh. Yeah. No, you oh. can't evade. You can't exactly. evade the ultimate, dude. Uh, for that roll. Volt gives you the 300 bits for that roll. Wow, you just killed me, dude. Dude, Volt. You just Thank destroyed you. me. You just burned me, dude. You were like. Dude, it was just enough. It was all just will enough burn. Damage. Lyle with the win, dude. Lyle with the win. Lyle with the win. Oh, oh what a comeback. I'm back, I, dude. I won the game at the beginning of last time because I got it the first roll. You got it the last roll for the win, dude. 
Yeah, oh. I have a feeling you might have won that your next turn if I didn't do this. If you hadn't blocked me that other turn, you would have been closer to death. But dude, yeah, you yeah. pulled this yeah. off, and I was out of money. And you dude, stunned, clutch dude. Win, clutch win. Dude, what a, what a BM play, dude. Because <laughs> I'm stunned, I'm burned, I'm knocked down. You did the thousand overkilled me, and then just ran me into the ground. <laughs> oh, it was a beautiful thing. It was a beautiful thing. That was a better game. I'm, I'm at max fire mastery right now. It feels good, dude. Yeah, you're on fire, dude. You're on fire right now. That was a clutch win for sure, man. That was a good yeah. win. That that game felt a lot more uh, competitive. That did feel a lot more. competitive. That matchup yeah. felt a lot better. Um, going back and forth. I mean, I, what I should have done to count, I should have gone for like an evasive or roll or something instead of yeah. uh, trying to knock you down, um, knowing that you were going to draw a card and had a point anyway. So it didn't. Yeah. Knockdown wasn't the choice. I should have gone for like take cover or like fan the yeah, hammer. Yeah, getting evasive or... would have been really good. I needed, uh, but you can't you can't evade that one. But the thing is, like, you used your twice as wild offensively. If you if you just held it, you could yeah. use it against me to 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 not so I don't get my ultimate. But I used that to try to knock you down, though. Yeah, that was stupid. Yeah. If I hadn't used that, but to you kind of needed down. to do that because you used twice as wild and you got that huge hit on me. You get you get hit yeah. for eleven. So, but I also wasted the knockdown knowing you would get out of it oh right right, right see what i'm right. saying i should have just i should have gone for maybe i should have used this to get an evasive i should have used this to go for fan the hammer or something or like take cover or something you know mm. like i could have i could have gone for that in this case if this was my yeah. role you know um which would have been a better um i think competitive choice because then i would have had if i'd gotten the double evasives no, I wouldn't have done a ton of damage to you, but I would have had a chance at avoiding, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't yeah. the best. Well, not the ultimate, but avoiding anything else. Yeah. Plus, I was taking two damage. I don't know. Yeah, the burn, I think, was the MVP for me. I can't evade just... the ultimate? Oh, yeah, it's an ultimate. Can't be evaded. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Not... But the burn, I think, was MVP, uh, even though that, that was a clutch thing at the end. But the burn was just, like, slowly keeping me in the game, kind right. of, you know? I mean, I have a card to remove that burn eventually yeah yeah but you I mean, kept I burning me to remove this bounty you know i mean you kept uh, burning me though i mean every time i would have done it um yeah. oh yeah know. yeah I, yeah every single time it was just like burn it's like oh you already yeah burned. so i would have been kind of trying to use i would have only gotten like one of those cards out of here to get rid of that burn but dude good game dude good game GGs. good game good game one to one that felt a lot better dude <laughs> that felt that one did feel a lot better um yeah but again know. i think it's because we know the game a little bit better yeah too. So, so gunslinger comes with samurai which we didn't use um this time around let's see who does who does he these are the boxes guys you can buy the battle boxes battle four is the seraph versus the vampire um over here looks like you've got cool this one what's i'm trying to see who comes with who oh i don't is even that, see so M. bison over there yeah yeah you got cursed pirate and the artifact artificer so those are those are all I believe season two uh, battle boxes. Yeah, that, that, that's that's the smash up. Uh... <laughs> yeah. So though, all those battle boxes season are one. season two. So season one is Gunslinger and Pyromancer. I believe are from the season one box, um, which would make sense because she's right here, right here on the. This is the season one box cover, guys, from season one. Just so you know, um, there's mm, okay, the Pyromancer, so the, elf, the Barbarian. Uh, Gun, is gunslinger there no gunslinger's not even no in. it's not we got some monk we got the pyromancer so gunslinger knight. might have been season two actually yeah. as well um so like we said in in the mod um if you load up the mod you get six characters you get four from season one and one from season two and i guess another one from technically season two which would be the that other one um but yeah dude i like this matchup a lot better it'd be fun to you know get into some more of the complicated things what i liked about yeah. the pyromancer was that it's like it's it's like a gunslinger with one added thing that's a little bit more. It's like adding the fu the, the burn was just enough yeah. of a of difficulty increase, but not yeah. being over the top. You know. What yeah. I mean? What's a little scary about the pyromancer is it doesn't have the evasive um, thing. I can't even get evasive. Yeah. And my defense can't prevent damage at all. All it does right. is inflict more damage. So it's it's right. super offensive character. It's oh, yeah. like it's face. It's like it's like I don't care about defense. I'm just gonna try to burn you yeah. down. Which is kind of cool thematically for it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean I, I recognized that early on and I was like, I just need to keep doing damage to you. Which yeah. is kind of what I was choosing to do, uh, to try to just keep pounding you, knowing that but you also had a you had a dot on me. So it was kind of like this just like tick, tick, tick. and that game yeah. went really fast. I mean the games are only supposed to take like thirty minutes, and that's kind of the idea, right? Yeah, which is which is great. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, that's nice, Volt. This is doing a much better job of showing it than when you saw it unplugged at the first unplugged. Okay, yeah, we we so we saw it unplugged a couple years in a row, um, and we asked yeah. about it. I think this year it was all people were always playing it, and I think because it's very accessible. And then once 
like like I said, I think when you see people playing it and you see this giant box, it's a little intimidating. Um, and it's like, whoa, dude, is that something I want to jump into? It looks a little too hard. But it's it's honestly, don't let the the look uh, throw you off. It's very simple game. And I yeah, think if, yeah, yeah. It's easy to get into. Yeah, sure. very easy to get into, and it's gonna make you want to pick up more of these and try more combos. And again, it's like one of these. Uh, it's like one of these unique every game unique games. <laughs> every game unique. <laughs> like with um, with smash up, you know, you want to mash up some newer more battles. Uh, with Keyforge, you want to try some new decks. So yeah, um, I think it falls right inside what we've been doing a lot of these things that we like these varied matchups. Um, yeah, which is a lot of fun. Totally. Um, I one thing I do want to say though is you know we've been doing more digital implementations. This is just a mod of the game. Um, it's not an official digital version of the game. It's an official mod made by them. But I think this would be a lot of fun to play digitally. Like, yeah, uh, you know, I understand. I don't know if that's going to take away from selling it physically, like more people. But I think this would this would translate dramatically well to like an iPad or like Steam, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so, especially because you can play up to six players. It, it, it's really, you know, it's really cool to think. I want to play this game definitely at some point 2v2 or, or with more players and see how it feels. Right. Um, because it will change, it'll change it completely how the, how the game is. And there's all of these like AOE effects that these characters have. And yeah, there's all of these, yeah. um, interrupts and actions, um, that you can play on other people's turns to help or hurt them that right. like when you add more people, it's going to start getting really, yeah, really fun. I think. Yeah. And the shared pools that you mentioned that when you play with like say 2v2 is really cool versus like, I think when you play these like team games and you still have individual health, it's like, oh, if one of you dies, you guys lose. That kind of sucks. Cause then you're like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like I can't heal. Yeah. And they're just going to go for the pyromancer. You know, everyone's going to pile on, but they do do free for all. So that is yeah. another way you can play. You know what I mean? Um, Justin says, I was thinking about buying the game, but he said it plays really slow with more than two people. I could see the team games. Yeah. I think, I think free for all, if you're playing six people, free for all. If you're playing free for all, then I think it's, it'll take a long time for your turn to come around. Right. Um, and, and that feels bad when you're just kind of sitting around, um, and then that's where you know, I think waiting if for people to do their turns, but and then, like then you get when the alliance team, problem. yeah, when it's team and, and you can actively help your teammate on their turn, plus you have actions to play on other, other people's turns. Yeah. It feels a little better. Right. Um, because yeah. you're engaged at least a little bit more. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I could see that if you're doing round Robin, like <laughs> around the circles with six people, you're just kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think though too, you also get the pile on effect where it's like, you could say, okay, Lyle's playing pyromancer and the five of us are playing other people. It's like, dude, let's get him out of here. And you could just, you annihilate someone so quickly. You annihilate somebody before they can even get to their second And that turn. sucks. Yeah. And yeah, then that, you're that, like, that oh, yeah. come on. You know, yeah. unless your buddy's like, I'll help you. You know, you, I mean, you could, you could have that fun and build alliances and stuff, but like, yeah, that, that doesn't sound very much fun. Cause then you're, yeah, you're waiting for your buddies to finish playing a game that could yeah. take forever. It's like, yeah. um, oh, Totally. Quax was was really great when we when we finally played it. I mean, we were really late to the game, but the fact that it's simultaneous play um, is is really yeah. awesome. Um, yeah, everyone's yeah, always doing it. those games. The games go. It's just like um, it's a uh, wingspan too. someone you're usually yeah. always doing something on your turn. Um, and those games, I think, have been really taking off and doing great uh, for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, so wingspan yeah. can can kind of feel a little um, if you play because I've, I've played a bunch of games with with five. Oh, I've people. never played five. I've only played four. Yeah. And and um, when you're playing with that many people, it does take a while. But because as there there are cards in there that like is between turn birds, and also um, there's a lot of stuff that's sort of like when when people start activating the birds down the line, like everybody's getting food or everybody's like drawing a card or something like that. That those sorts of things, those cards and those mechanics in that game make it feel better that something can happen for uh, you on right. somebody else's turn. Right. Right. If yeah, when 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 you're just waiting <laughs> around, that's when it that's when it really hurts. Yeah, and Drew brings up a point that if you play three player rules, uh, you actually start with 35 health and you draw a card if you attack the lead. So you get incentive to attack the person leading the game. That's I cool. did read this in the rule book. It's called King of the Hill. Oh, um, it's a mode. Yeah. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So basically, you pay you uh you oh, play with three here. players. Yeah, that's right. And if you you get a bonus, you get bonus damage or bonus something. Oh yeah, bonus card if you attack the person that has the highest health. So you're incentivized to keep the health pools kind of even and not gang up on one person Yeah. Um, by getting a card draw, right? And we don't know, card draw wins games. It doesn't, like, but you could still gang up on another one, right? Right. And be like, I don't want to draw that card, I'm just going to go after you. But it is nice to know that, like, if you do go after the highest health person, 
you can get a benefit from it. Yeah, and it even says here in the rule book, five to six player games are fun and intense for seasoned players, but will drag on if attempted by new players. Oh, wow, it even says it, yeah. Yeah, So and there's more variants even on their website and stuff like that. So, um, no, good points, good points, good points. Yeah. Um, oh, just like Space Base, people are doing... Oh, is that is that what you get? Is it a bonus for Space Base? Or are you saying uh, as things are always happening? I mean, those are the kind of games like that. Even Machi Koro, things are always happening. I, on I, players am, I haven't played Space Base, so I don't know. Yeah, those... Uh, these um, You know, you're rolling and then things are procking based on stuff you've put into your base and you build up your engine or your tableau or whatever. Um, it's between, oh, between turn, turn things turn like stuff. Wingspan. Yeah. Got so it. like that, Machi Koro even has that effect that every roll affects usually everyone on the border. It's making you money or getting someone else money or something's happening there. You know what I mean? You're drawing a card, sure. that kind of stuff, which is, which is cool. So those kind of, those are the kind of games and this kind of kind of fits in there, but, uh, I don't know. It's cool. No, I, I so in, in, in conclusion, thank you to Trasharama for recommending us play this like a year ago. And totally. I'm, I'm bummed yeah. we didn't sit down and play it, um, at PAX. I think, if we'd sat down and had a good chance to like try a couple of different characters and battle each other and stuff, I might've, if they had the box for sale, um, I probably would have bought it at, uh, yeah, no, I think, I think, I mean, yeah, especially, especially like maybe just like even picking up the, the, the two, two character one for like yeah. 20 bucks or whatever. Right. I mean, I feel like that's kind of, that's kind of, or good. what's cool is I buy a two character one and you buy a different two character one yep, and now exactly. you've got four characters and we both yeah. can take yeah, them home and do whatever. So, um, think of it that way. That's a good. That's a good point. That's a good point. But yeah. this, this is great. I think my so my sister's birthday is this weekend. I might actually send her because they're always looking for kind of two player games and something simple like this is interesting. Um, yep. Maybe this is a good gift. You know, ship it up there like eighteen to twenty five bucks as a thing, and you get a lot of like like we we're saying from what I saw. And this is not sponsored in any way. I just we're just going by observations. The the dice in the real game look really cool. Um, I think all the components are really nice, and the organization's great. So cool. A plus. A plus from the camp. Crit a Camp plus. approved. Yeah, we Epic. will play this some more, and uh, and and maybe we'll get um, you know sometime in the future start getting some uh, community stuff going on so we can play these other modes, uh, King of the Hill three three uh, player or some yeah, sport some player, player team game. stuff. So. Um, yeah, once again, if you guys want to check it out, it's a free mod on Tabletop Sim, officially made by I believe Roxy or people associated with Roxy or something like that. Uh, you yep. get it if you have Tabletop Simulator. You can go get it. There's a link again in the Twitch chat. I will put it in the YouTube description as well um, yeah. for this video. So Test check it, it out. out. See if you like it. Try it out. And then let's hope that we can get uh, some of this stuff going and get it in physically going. I'll, I'll, I will be back Wednesday, guys. I think um, Thursday will be off because uh, we got to do some work. Yeah. We got some work. I think Thursday will be the day, Lyle. Uh, so we'll Thursday be back. Thursday will be the day? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Thursday will be the day. Wednesday's coming up. I do have to say that um, uh, another game that's coming out digitally is... Um, is uh, 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 what is the name of it? Oh my God, Talisman is coming out for the Switch, and Nomad's mm. been freaking out uh, about it coming out soon. So I think we might, maybe, I don't know if Wednesday we'll start Talisman, but we'll see. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to add more and more games here, but people want more and more games that we've played because we're adding them to the list and getting stuff done. So come join us Wednesday, guys. It'll either be zombicide it could be something yeah. else i don't know stay tuned yep. hop in the discord hop in the twitter see what's going on check out dice throne we're one and one lyle yeah one and one i like that one and one is good going out fair check out check out the game thanks a lot guys thanks for all the recommendations always recommend more games that's why we play them if you guys want to see them that's what we'll do peace good gaming peace good gaming we'll see you guys on wednesday bye bye Woo.